What up and welcome back to another episode of the We Don't Smoke the Same podcast. And yes, it is that time. We're actually starting off a little bit early, uh, earlier than usual for this time around this time of year. And uh, we're yes, we are doing the face painting very much. The mo- I think this is a spooky kickoff weekend for Knott's Berry Farm. So we're starting too. So that's how I'm going based on over here on the We Don't Smoke the Same podcast. Uh, across from me. What's going on, my boy? Grr, rawr. What do we say? What does Tiger say? What's the right voice? They're great. Why'd you? Did you choose that? Nah. Oh. You just picked it for me. I, that's cool. I like it. I really wanted to be Oogie Boogie, but I would have to be like, like you no know, facial hair, and I was like, I'm not sacrificing my beard. It's hard, bro. Like you know, you, you should you should start to relate. It's the only hair oh, you can grow. I, fuck you. Don't even bring that up. Let's just <laughs> leave that topic alone. He's on back. To fucking things that we wouldn't do. Um, is there a movie? Would you you would shave your your beard for a movie, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if it's a degrading role, it depends, dog. Like, what would be a degrading role? Like, like a cancer patient. They hit you up. Yo, he's on. We got this part for you. You're gonna a gang bang. No, oh, you don't need to be. You don't. That's need a pretty degrading role, though. Yeah, but you don't need. I to meant be, like a Hollywood role, exactly. fucking jerk. <laughs> and, you <laughs> don't, and you don't need to have a clean face to to be part of a gang bang, dude. But yeah, for a cancer, a cancer patient, you remember that Fifty Cent movie? Yeah. He looked. He did not look. He did you? Th- I don't know. What do you think about that movie? Him in that movie? Um. Did you watch it? No. Never seen the Fifty Cent uh, cancer movie? No. Nope. Bring in Ray. Bring in the movie guy. I think he's seen it. Nah, I'm not, I haven't seen it. You've heard of it? Yeah, hell yeah. He loses a lot of weight, type of shit. Like yeah, he becomes a He thought it was patient. gonna be his breaking role. What a dumbass. Oh yeah, he thought this was gonna be like like he was gonna be considered a real actor instead of just. Fucking game banging bullshit. I mean, you know, I don't, I don't really, I, I, I didn't, I didn't watch the movie, so I can't really say much about it. But joining us is the one and only Han Cholo face painting. I mean, it's only right that we have him on, because you know, considering Woo-hoo! that he's painted our faces. Howdy, what's going on? Howdy, y'all! I'm glad to be back with y'all right here on the ranch, <laughs> on the We Don't Smoke the Same Ranch. I, it's just lovely to be here with y'all, Ray, E Zone. XG, <laughs> Tony the Tiger XG. Tony the Tiger XG. <laughs> I, I feel like what, what have you been watching? A lot of uh... Yellowstone. Yeah, I've been watching Yellowstone. Like Yellowstone? Uh, I'm one episode in, but I'm fucking. As you can tell, <laughs> as you can tell it's fucking. It's pretty thrilling. One episode in, dude. I swear, dude. Like, what sign are you? Here go. Oh, okay, yeah, you're. Yeah. Just celebrated a birthday. Happy oh belated. You're like what, 45? 36. I'm, oh. I'm, I'm joking, bro. I'm, <laughs> hey, but um, so one episode in, so what, do you like work like the South Park kids? You know how like when they get into like a brand new show, they just start. <laughs> Pretty much. It's like what's popular. At work, everybody. Get closer to the mic, fool. At work, everybody has their Tejana already. But, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's like whatever's in, sad to say it, not that I'm a poser. I'm a Yellowstone poser. I mean, it's. I'm just. I'm just doing it for the hat. Really, I just want to go dip it down to ladies everywhere I go. Howdy, howdy, ma'am, sir. Excuse me, sir. How long have you been wearing that? Uh, I got it last month. No, actually, a couple months ago for a wedding, and it's just been waiting it to bust it out. And then my mom just came back from Europe. She got me this shirt from Prague. It was probably made in China, but it's still pretty fucking sweet. He got you that shirt from Prague, dude? Yeah, I look like a European nautical. I don't know if that's such a thing. I heard the Albanians were All right, a gay there. European nautical. Gay European <laughs> nautical. <laughs> Have you seen Yellowstone? No. Fibrio wants me to watch that so we can talk about it nonstop, but I'm like, I every time he tells me to recommend me for sure, I almost want to watch it in secret and not tell him just so I don't want to give him the joy of like having a reason to talk about that show, like extra happy about it. Unless, well, I- yeah. You know what I'm talking about? It's one of those shows where it's like he says, it's trending. Everyone's talking about Everybody's it. Everybody's talking about it. Yeah, so like I'm surprised we have it because I haven't I've seen a couple episodes. It's just about a rich ass cowboy dog. Like rich, pendejo rich. Rich like, owns, white yeah, people. Owns helicopters, type of shit rich. Damn. Yeah. And he's just cattle. Living the cattle life, the cowboy life. And was, what's the the moral of the story? They want more. It's never enough. They want they want your land. They want the Indian's land. They want all the land. Do they care about the Indians in this show? Nope. Fuck no. 
Damn. Are there Indians in this show? Yeah, they have the they have the the, the reservations and. What do they just like kill them and rape them? And shit? So like in one of the stories, like so, guess what they did? All right, all right so but so, come on. So no, let me really? tell you, in one of the episodes, he 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 can tell what happened. <laughs> so one of the episodes, like you know how like everybody. Do you watch this? XG? Yeah, I watched. Okay, I watched all right. it, like a couple of the season one. I haven't finished it. It's a big, it's a big deal. But in one of the between season one, the the rancher, what's his name? El Mano Chingon. Rick. Rick. Kevin Costner. Yeah, well, whatever his name's on the show, Metal Chingon has his cattle. He has all these cattle, and that's his cattle, right? At one moment, one moment in time, his cattle ends up in the Indian, in the Native Americans' reservation. Guess yeah. whose cattle technically that is that. now? Guess whose cattle technically that is now? By Indian law, this Indians. Is- yes, and these fools want it back, and, and they want to go in there a huevo. That's your, that's your cattle, bro. That's a thousand dollars a vaca, yeah. and you're like, I lo- and it start it starts getting wild. People get killed. It's pretty entertaining. Like I don't know. Obviously, it's I don't know how real it is. What's awesome is the fucking uh, barnyard sex scenes. Those are another reason why I like to watch this show because they'd be having fucking just buck nasty sex in the fucking in the barn. And you know it's raw. And you know it's fucking raw. It's raw, dog. You acted, got... you acted out with your lady or what? Speak, <laughs> speaking of raw, I mean. You gotta be careful, like you said with XG, because it could be a very scary thing. But it's, it's, it's quite the sensation. Xavier, do you raw dog? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Every time though? No, you can't. Every, I mean, you can't. if you have a lady, yeah, like yeah. When I've had a girlfriend, is there's no condoms in the house. You're allergic to them? No, no, I'm, dude, that'd be weird. I would, would have already got a bitch pregnant or an STD if I would. I don't know how guys. You've you've heard of guys be allergic to it? Is that just hype? Is that what just guys just no, say? No, there's fools that are allergic to latex. Yeah, there's um, there's fools that are allergic to latex for sure. Um, I, I've never met anybody personally, but I banged a chick who was allergic to latex. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. What happened to her? You just raw dogged it every time. Nah, I use a condom. Uh, uh, wait up, uh, non lubricated. Back yeah, up, back up, back up. How did she know she was allergic or? She what told happened? Me. No, but what happened like while the coitus was transpiring, she had to stop? Or... No, I'm just commenting on the fact that I banged a chick who was allergic to rubber. Yeah, and then you said you fucked her with the, a condom. The skin or whatever the Oh, can okay, use a different type of condom. Yeah, yeah. Cheap skin. Oh. Yeah, that shit. Oh. So you had to go like out of your way to get this condom? Because I'm sure this well, is Well, yeah, you got to go to the drugstore and no, shit. Fucking cheap fucker. He was like Harry Potter, <laughs> used a spell. It feels yeah. weird. Is it different? Feels weird. Yeah, I, is it more expensive? Yeah. I don't know. I don't remember. I only used it that one time. Nice. Yeah. What about you, dog? You've been raw. You said you was you've been raw dogging it. I mean, I've been uh, I've been married, going on uh, six years now, and uh, you know, all of a sudden, it's like maybe it's a special occasion or something. And you're like, come on, babe, let me uh, let me go in there. Wait, so you were doing it with the condom? Wait, yeah, oh, for the longest because you know that's the me and my girls. You know, we're big on birth control. We got we come from families where all my cousins have kids, so if we have a kid, we're gonna try to plan it out. But like I was telling you earlier, like we've been we've been raw dogging, you know, fucking <laughs> knock on wood, and uh, I I wouldn't be surprised if later on there's a little. Pancholito fucking running around trying to paint faces of his own. But, um, <laughs> no, nah, but we're careful. But it's like, you know, we're married. You're 36. You're allowed yeah. to have it. Like, yeah. you're allowed to have it, dog. You know, like, like hey, you got to be careful. How, how, going nowhere. how soon after the baby's born are you painting his face? <laughs> uh, One year. After one year. Because I heard a baby skin is very sensitive. Speaking of babies, let's try a fucking cheese. Hold on. I still got a question about raw dog. I still got a question about raw dog. I know, but what, let's go back to it. But let all me right, mention right. it really quick. Fucking... <laughs> Uh, we had to go to my wife's sister's house to go fucking kick out the baby daddy. And it was a Wait, fucking, a rewind. You got to uh, rewind this whole story. Yeah, it was a... That's a good cheese man right there, dog. <laughs> Dude, uh, what do you guys want to talk about? I'm on your guys' time. I'm yeah, on, no, 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 no. Run that cheese, cheese man, but run it nicely, though. What happened? <laughs> okay. Okay. What? This guy didn't even last a month. And, you know, we were all... I was rooting for him. But he's pretty much a fucking piece of shit. You know, those type of guys that ain't going to take care of the Who's kid. he dating? He's dating my wife's sister. Okay, so she's like your sister-in-law? She's like my sister-in-law. And they had their, you know, he's the baby daddy. They have their kid and the baby's like going on a month old. 
Uh, not to get too much into detail, but, uh, you know, they basically had to get him out because he was just doing some fucking... Meth? No, he was just doing some fucking shifty-ass shit, like, stealing from her. Oh, that's and meth. fucking something. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like, uh, no, nah, this guy's a loser. I don't fucking feel no pity for him. Like, good riddance. So, she gets the call. My girl... She's like, come on, we were having a fucking beef that day of our own. So luckily that my beef and my girl's lady blew over because we had to go fucking save her sister. But I, <laughs> that's I what the cat that. did for me on Sunday. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the cat that I saved on Sunday, that's what it did. That's you had the, some fellow with your girl? We weren't even talking on the way there. The, the oh. way there. Yeah, and then the cat was just like, we got to save his cat. On the way back, y'all like, yeah, that was funny. the baby daddy we kicked out. But yeah, go ahead. Finish your story. All right, yeah. so uh we got she got the call and like i said we were beefing having uh battles and shit fighting over dumb shit but we had to put our beef aside to go help my sister-in-law and i was like already i didn't know what to expect because this guy's like makes it seem like he's a cholo and he fucking knows people but he's just a fucking poser like fake ass fucking fool and um you know, I didn't know how physical I was going to get, so I had to fucking tie my shoelace, you know, and yeah. I had to tie your shoelace. I was like, fuck. I usually do that when I jump the border. But, but, but luckily, uh, her other sister showed up, and she was an ex-sheriff. Oh. Fucking ex-sheriff sergeant. So she was fucking talking this So they guy. didn't need you. Why can't this? Exactly. They, they didn't need me. They didn't need me. Need me. But he I knew that. There. That's why he tied his shoes. You got the sister that's a fucking cop. You got the other sister that's like uh, built like a linebacker. <laughs> so she had my uh, sister-in-law. She had her people there. And this guy had his mom there. And the mom was just like staring like, No, ¿por qué te van a sacar? Es tu casa. And like, <laughs> was, like I, hadn't, I hadn't been part or heard about any like fucking ghetto ass thing like that happening. Or it's been a while or like. I was all like, yeah, this is like a typical Mexican thing. Now I got to go fucking, you know, possibly beat this guy's ass. Or oh, knows? shit. You were in yeah. or you were, you were ready? It's like I had problems with this guy already as it was. And I was all like, fuck, I guess this is what we're going to do. But uh, that was an interesting day. Fucking tensions, uh, tensions were high. And like, I think the most fucked up part was that <laughs> he was more interested in his shit. Not once did he say... Get ready. This is a real turd jerker moment. Not once did he say, I want to see my daughter. Because they have the babies a month old. I want to see my daughter. Or what's going to happen with my daughter. That just goes to show you what a fucking piece of shit this guy is. But anyway, back oh, to, okay, okay. No, no, back wait, wait, to wait, wait, raw doggy. Wait, wait, wait. I still want to know, like, how do you get kicked out? Like a fuerzas? Or he voluntarily said, all right, all right, guys. Okay, I'm dipping. well, uh, dude. Hey, I'm homie, taking my baby, too. No, um, <laughs> respect. Shout out to my sister-in-law. Because she's holding it down. At the sheriff's she's department. A, and the sheriff's department, nah, but she's a, I guess, recent uh, single mother. But, you know, I just wish her all the luck. She's She works her ass off. She had the baby and, like, she did all that shit on her own. She don't need no man. But why don't you guys just adopt a kid? Why, why the fuck do I want that shit I for? You just say you've been raw dogging for a kid. Yeah, but raw dogging because it's fun, not because it's not oh. for a kid. I said it, that could happen as a result of said raw dogging. Come on, XG. Are you, you leaving it in there? Like leaving it in there because I think that's making, what I think. I'm not a baker. I'm not making cream I think, pies. I think that's when it gets dangerous. That's what I'm about to say. I think that's when it gets dangerous. We got a baker, you ladies and gentlemen. If, if you like lay on her for a little bit and you just let that shit soak in, dog. That's just nah, man, dude. Dude. That's just a baby already. Yeah. <laughs> y'all, y'all are crazy. I was about to say, crazy, you, I'm not in there, but I try to get it like out as soon as possible. And I and give then her you a don't towel wanna, right away. I tell you don't want to adopt. You don't want to adopt that kid either, man, because it's just like that. Foot could be like, you know, like Chucky's kid, shit face. Oh, you know what I mean? That and then happen. You, yeah, and then you or you can you can or have like, like that movie, The Orphan. Yeah, like or a serial killer kid. Like you could have like a very shitty, or shitty you genetics. Might like hide the remote, you know, like really. Or what if like shit? his family has like very bad genetics, and then like by the age of twenty five, cancer. You you you'd never adopt. Will you never adopt a kid, either? Yeah, but I do my research. What kind of kid would you like? What minority kid? Don't give him choices, dude. Don't give him sure. choices. He's for sure. Japanese. Half Japanese. Yeah, I told you. <laughs> he he can no land there. That's the only yeah. reason. So one day he can have a high so hungry pop up. So I can have a restaurant out there <laughs> and live my days out until a tsunami kills me. XG, uh, you're talking about leave it and in there. I have a question for you. Are you uh, what, ty what type of lover are you? Are you like... Gay lover. Bang, wham, bam, <laughs> you're done? Or are you fucking... 
you know i try to do all of it sweet, I, sweet passionate love all of it at once like not all of it at once but like i start off hard like like going like like are a jackrabbit are you making then i uh, slow down <laughs> then i slow down then i slow down <laughs> then i take it easy then i do the in and out lordy, lordy, lordy. yeah then i do the in and outs they love the in and outs you just like what and then you, i feel like you're the type of guy that you'll switch in from the asshole and pussy in the same brown no, that's, that's <laughs> like just, no. She's not that if, nasty. It, if, if it's the one I stand, I don't give a fuck about her pussy. So yeah, but like if that's your lady, you don't do that. <laughs> you don't want to stick it from your from yeast, yeast Yeah, you're, yeah. Then Are you're you gonna get it? with. Then you're gonna end up with the yeast infection. Guys don't, don't, guys don't get yeast infection. Yeah, they do. Yeah, you do, but it's very rare. Yeah, it's, yeah, rare. it's very rare. Yeah, you get like a layer. Are you uh, busting boom. loud, or are you just like a quiet? Buster. I always try to bust with them. That's my usual. I, yeah, yo, I'm about to bust. Can you bust real quick with me? And then I'll see how it goes. I, I, I hold that shit too because it's better. <laughs> what, do you, what, what, what do you mean? Yo, can, can you bust with yeah, them? Like, hurry the fuck in up. You coordination? Got, like, you got another round in there? Oh, come on. You know, yeah. you, know you can do that. You don't hold never on, say, on, yo, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Stop. Hold on. Hold on. Stop. Oh, that's let called just, edging. We found let, out that that's called catch, edging. Let me just catch my breath. That's called edging. We found I that mean, out. You want to perform right for your girl. You know, you don't want to let her down. <laughs> We've all been there, right, guys? And we just feel like shit right after. You feel like shit? I mean... I don't give a fuck. If just one of you comes, it's like... It's a weird feeling. It's better if both come, right? It if depends. Both, if you really if don't care about the parties person. come to an agreement and both come... Nah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel like if... Uh, uh, like, if for like a one-night stand or something like, something like that, like you really don't really... You're not going in there with that person's <laughs> consideration of their feelings. You're just like, bitch... Yeah. But you just you could can leave be, now. You just could be a passionate lover like fucking Tony the Tiger here. <laughs> or you just super could be passionate. fucking getting it wherever you can get it. I do super passionate. I put Ar I put Usher in the back. Everybody who's a LAFC fan, we now know who Xavier is going for on Saturday, everybody. Oh fake, man, I fake, didn't think about fake that. Fan right here going for Tigres. Damn, dog. Ooh, Lord, Lord. Fake ass fan over here. Don't leave on, come kick his ass. <laughs> Is this an inside job by you two motherfuckers? No, I feel like this was an inside job. I come Actually, here. no, I just looked at it because somebody said, La Exia La Tigresa, and I was just like, I was like, Tigres. That's hard. La Tigresa was a fucking bad bitch. You remember, you know who La Tigresa is? That uh, old Mexican uh, actress from those old. Tina no. Mexicano. She was a bad bitch. La Tigresa? The girl, yeah, right? Yeah, dude. She was like, all the shit that, you know, men would do. Said like, you know, fucking machista shit. She would, she would have boyfriends. She would like, I don't need no fucking man. And like. Bro, she was not hot. What are you talking about? Dude, are you, you looking at You find this a, bitch hot? Okay, but you're looking at a picture when she was old. I look, don't give a fuck. Look at a picture when she was fucking young. Everything was tight. Everything was in its place. She got the booty. You know what I mean? Come on now. She's fucking 78 right there. She's dried up. Poor old woman. Nobody's going to want to talking about like one of these old ladies? In the black and white film, though, the picture that Ray showed She's up? really old. Yeah, I, 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 you take that down. I would have taken that down. Yeah. Like that young black and white picture? Yeah. Ray, you taking that down? Yeah. Not in that black and white? You know she don't shave, right? That's a non-shaved pussy. This ain't... It's a black and white. It's non-shaving. Por el, por el, el tiempo, dog. Like, you know, for that tiempo, that's oh. considered somewhat pretty. <sighs> Fuck, dog. I'm being serious, dude. Like, I don't know if I could fuck something that hasn't even been kind of taken care of. Kind of. I don't need it fully shaved. I don't think women shaved at that time. That's why I don't know if I could. I mean, I, I, mean, I would have to. You couldn't, be, you, could, you couldn't be like your tío's age and then be like, oh, estos muchachos no comen panocha sin pelo. Compelo and shit like that. You just I see. I've never ate a pussy with hair, like with a bunch of hair on it. But that's more of a European like stubble. thing. Stubble. You know, I've done stubble. Yeah. What like the I'm... fuck is stubble? Like a five o'clock well, shadow. Yeah. Like where it's like I, there's like a little bit of hairs, you know. But five o'clock shadow. Nah, that's pussy. gay. First, <laughs> I don't even know how to think about that. <laughs> Your pussy's got that five o'clock shadow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you feel in there? You feel it's growing back in, huh? <laughs> you should use Gillette that. If you fucking moment, if you feel a five o'clock shadow in there and that song starts playing in the background, real men of genius, real men of genius. You ever seen that commercial? Yeah, Jack in course. a Box? Yeah, yeah. That's an iconic commercial. I wish I could be a commercial writer. Mr. Shave Puber, five o'clock shadow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 
I miss it. It sounds kind of lame. Hats off to you. You're not afraid of a little pelito. Yeah, no. <laughs> Xavier is a man, real man of genius. <laughs> real man of genius. <laughs> So how are you feeling over there? You're not going to fall asleep all of a sudden, narcolepsy style? Nah, I'm actually, I took, so I got starting to wake up. I got the bigger capsules this time and I took like <laughs> the stronger one that I got from Be Real. And I just, I took 1500 milligrams today. 15? Yeah. From the bigger pills. And Ray took like 400 or 500. You could tell Ray was obliterated when you got here a little bit. Yeah, but Ray's he's a little slump. Like, <laughs> like, like more like, but I went and I was looking at him like we both ate a happy meal. And then I was looking at him. I was like, "Man, I wish I was that fucking high." I was like, "Like, I was. I'm waiting for this shit to hit me, and I bet when I get back home, it's gonna hit me." You guys ate like a kid's happy meal, like a real happy meal. Yeah. Oh shit! I haven't had those in forever. We usually have those sometimes. It did. Yeah. It did hit the spot because they they allow you to customize it sometimes the burger, and then I'll just like add like different shit to it. So I'll just be like, "Like, you can say a double patty." Yeah. Oh shit. I didn't know you could do that. That's pretty tight. You can make it like, like kind of like a Whopper. I mean, like a like, like a quarter pounder. Big Mac, yeah. Yeah. And that, yeah. I don't know. I, was, I know. I, I know. People, the haters already in there. McDonald's. I'm like, yeah, baby, shut the fuck up, bro. Let us have this moment. Damn. Man. They got Pokemon cards, right? Yeah. Oh, they got Pokemon cards right now. <laughs> yeah. So oh, I, I told her. I told. I told. I told. Uh, Ray, I was like, I'll buy. It. I'll buy you one. You want one? <laughs> I know he's all high. <laughs> Let me get those cards though. <laughs> yeah. The no, a. Are you crying if you if your girlfriend's telling you you're pregnant or she's pregnant? Tears of joy, right? Tears no, of joy. I don't think that this is going to be like, is that what we're doing? And then she's like, <laughs> what if she says? Is that what we're doing? And she what says, if you guys were fighting? And no, and then she good. says, and I'm two months in. And it's twins. <sighs> nah, you can be able to tell. Hit up Sam Tripp. You'd be able to quick. tell. You'd be like, what the fuck's no, up, Tubby? Tell. I think. You can't the, tell two months in. Their tits become hella sensitive, Look, fool. I think you don't be grabbing on her right titties thing. or what? Huh? I think Xavier would do the right thing. You know, Talk her in the stomach? No. Give her money for an abortion? <laughs> Give her money for an abortion? <laughs> no. Yeah, dude, I'll tell her right away. I'll snatch at her. And and go raise, buy some coat hangers. Yeah. And yeah, raise, them, raise them youngins. Yeah, dude. Raise them little critters. Well, I'll start a GoFundMe for an abortion. I don't think that's ever been done. Oh, it's right Top here. Top donator is his own. <laughs> here you go. Here's the full money. Actually, get the for the podcast. <laughs> this no. this this month's Patreon. There's got to be a point. <laughs> there's got to be a point in your life when you know, kind of think about stuff like that. Now I'm thirty. That's why I said abortion? I wouldn't cry. That's why I said I wouldn't cry. I wouldn't cry. I don't think I'd cry because I'm thirty. Like I would cry when I was eighteen because I was like, I don't know. Homer Simpson cried when March told him like, the first time everything was going great. Like Homer, the shit was so fucked up, when dude. Lisa that was born or Maggie? No, but like, Bart. yo, his life was barely fucking starting to come together. He had just got his dream job at a bowling alley. He got like, yeah, like he he was like, man, life is so sweet. He's fucking. He, I think he's bowling a perfect game. He walks into work, and then he tells him, and this was just like everything's ruined. He pulls his hair out, and then he has to fight a job. It's fucked up. The shit ruined Homer's life. Been yeah, he would have been owning the fucking the bowling alley. Yeah, What's up? Have you been bowling? I haven't seen you on your Instagram. Yeah, but it was that day they saved the cat, so I didn't feel like putting it on my Instagram. But that day, I hit four strikes in a row, dog. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. You felt like the guy that bowled at 300 on 9-11? I always, want, like, <laughs> <laughs> I always, I always wanted to, like, fucking, um, have, if, I, if I were to bowl something crazy, superb, I want to fucking, for sure, have that moment. Like, when Homer, built, when, when he got that 300, do you remember that shit, Ray? With the fucking balloon came and he tried, to, he tried to fucking save it for like forever and he swallowed it because he was talking to it. But yeah, I don't know. I, I would to bowl a 300 game is pretty hard. But if I okay, so, so okay, if I would have got to five strikes in a row, dog, that's half the game, dog. So I was, I was about to tell you, there's t you got to hit 10 strikes in a row, yeah, to hit a perfect game, yeah. And I and I literally, See, I'm telling you, my you girl was tripping, she was like, damn, you're at four fucking strikes, and I was just like. That cat? I'm telling you. I'm telling you, I think you can hit a perfect strike in two years. This next one's for the gatito. Right, Ray? Yeah. I really think in two years you'll be in here one day and you're going to come in here and be like, bitch, I fucking told you guys. Okay, hey, I, I don't think it's that hard. I think it's hard. I'm not saying it's easy. Oh, I could never do game. it. No, fool, they, there's, it is hard. Fool, there's fools that get their plaques on the wall there. Like that, literally, like, hey, like this fool, like he bowled the three, a perfect game. Like we're gonna put his name up here. It only cost him his marriage. He's old. <laughs> when do you start getting nervous? 
like nervous. When nervous, I'm on as in, as in, like you're like, like what what number? I get I'm nervous when I'm on a roll, dog, because I get my I, I get too comfortable, dog. Like when I don't want it and I'm just coming in there. Like usually my first best game, like my best games are like my first three. Those are usually my first, like, and it's usually the first two I want to say because I'm like I'm fresh. I'm, I'm getting my rhythm back and I'm fucking throwing them like straight, like not really caring, but still focused. And then when I start feeling myself and I start focusing on the score, that's when I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. You know? Everybody's watching. Cause I, I, yeah. can't, I can't imagine. Exactly. I can't imagine getting to nine and how stressful the 10th one is and you fucking up the 10th one. I'm sure it's happened. A lot of people have. Yeah, happened. I'm sure it's happened. The press. Even dude. the Japanese guys or the Asian fools that are in there fucking bowling like crazy. And I see those fools like those fools are like. Like they hit strikes or almost strikes every time, but it's never like consistent. Like Japanese businessmen? Nah. Well, yeah, they look like businessmen. Some of them they wear little suits and shit. But but um, nah. It's just like a, a group of like four or five Japanese uh fools that just go in there and bowl. It depends on what bowling alley I'm at. I usually like Westminster lanes, Westminster lanes. I like Valencia lanes. I like classic bowling alleys, you know, where you could get the place by the hour. Some fucking. Are we on Patreon yet? Is it that time yet? No. Oh. Oh. What? <laughs> yeah. Some fucking stupid ass boleros will fucking will not even charge you. Yeah. So will not even charge you like, charge you like a, an hour for the hour. So. so well, how, okay. So like I told you, I've only when I go to bowling alley, I kind of just go to do something. I don't even remember how how what's the run now. How's the charge? Is it per hour? Yeah, it's per, per hour. hour. No, is it Usually per it's per hour. Like the classic places, they'll charge you like an hour because it goes by quick. But it's like you got your own shoes, huh? Nah, not yet. What? Yeah, not a yet. baller like you? I'm trying. He has got like eight balls though. Yeah, I came up from this like from this uh, <clears throat> this lady's husband who had a, a professional bowler as a husband. That fool died. Come on. This big ass black fool dog. Yeah. Like literally has shack hands. So like his whole his his balls have three holes. So I, I'm I'm learning how to get good at bowling with uh, with a ball that has three holes, which is a little a little, a little weird because a lot of people are like, "What the fuck? Like, how are you bowling with three holes?" And I'm like, and I feel like that kind of made my game a little bit better. Because I've seen people that fucking throw it by holding it. Not I fucking hate that shit, hand. dog. I fucking hate that shit. That's kind of funny to watch though. All the paisas doing that. Yeah, shit. Yeah, like, but I'm just like, fool. These fools are just like fucking just it's like a pebble. It. Is it a rule? <laughs> like, if you if you join a bowling tournament is there a certain way you have to bowl is there a certain way a certain the weight on your ball is that's, there a, any... that's a good question I you've probably... looked into it right you no you i mean is there rules like it, can they you tell just you can't to... you just can't pass that line that's it yeah you can throw however you want yeah like grandma style yeah si quieres you could roll it off if you want oh, okay i don't know i thought they had rules you know i thought like i thought they'd have that's dope though but well, they don't give a fuck somebody said it's strike. a haunted bowling ball Matt, only the only way I would like it for that bowling ball for the most bowling balls to be haunted is if it works like the like Mike shoes. Oh yeah, from, right from, from little bow wow, where it's like I put my fingers in the bowling ball, and all of a sudden that feels like it's time, <laughs> and then we just fucking start killing fools. And, and now you gotta pro- now you gotta fucking protect that ball to save your life. The fourteen pounder. <clears throat> I mean, I, I did come up on some pretty cool ones. Like I have a Star Wars one with uh, Darth Maul. I have a Mickey Mouse one. <laughs> there's um, I have a Spider-Man one. There's one that's that see-through that has a bunch of snakes inside. I have a bunch of cool shit. I have a feeling. I mean, I know this, but imagine getting killed by a bowling ball. Oh, death Some by a bowling ball. Italian Fucking mobster. Epic. Italian mobster. Fucked yeah. up. Some. That'd be crazy to get killed by a bowling ball. That's easy though, right? Is them the way you fucking grab it. I mean, yeah, like you can if you can hit somebody in the head with a bowling ball, like with like it's cause it's like literally murdering somebody with a blunt object and blunt being it's like solid, like all the way. So it's just like you're you're going to be cracking their skull. But if you hit him in the back, bro, that's it, bro. That's lights out. That's wild. <clears throat> Don't fucking look at me like you're fucking thinking about doing it to me and shit. Hey, did you see that? Hey, he's on. I know I sent you that video. How bad did you feel for that lady that couldn't get out of the ocean? Oh, that shit was. I kind of thought about you because I was like, bro, this is. These are the videos that makes Ezo not want to go into the ocean. There's this video, this lady dog. She just went in there, pa mojarse los pies, mojarse las patas. She goes in there, dog. 
la pinche ola la revuelca like over oh, and over. Oh, the one that the... Yeah. She, she's, yeah. She's like... At first, she like runs away, but then the second wave gets her. Gets yeah. her, bro. And I've seen it. And I then the sand there. keeps digging her, like... And Raza, Raza has to go in there and get her, dog. Pobre señora. And then I, I said it to Isla, which I should have because I want him to fucking... I want him to go and learn how to swim and just experience it. I sent him this video because I'm like, bro, you're right. There's times where if the ocean wants to fuck you... Yeah. Cause I don't think I you think I think it was just too much um she got caught in the wrong place. Wrong pool. current? Uh, rip tide. Yeah, rip tide. I don't I don't know if me, I don't know if she wasn't strong enough. I don't know if anybody, but it looked like she was at It's kinda hard uh, to get away from a rip tide. You have to usually got, get like a uh a lifeguard. I fucking barely got away from one fucking swimming at night in Mexico at the time on a family vacation. And I was just so fucking scared because you can you try so hard to swim. People don't know you gotta like swim sideways, sideways. or some shit. You gotta go that but way. I just fucking kept on going and it kept on pulling me out. And I was like, fuck, I'm gonna fucking this is how I go. <laughs> fucking Acapulco, they're gonna fucking, you know? But uh yeah, that shit's scary. <laughs> you thought about you thought you were dying for Dude, sure. that's a fucking trippy ass feeling because it's like you're sw literally swimming for your life. Fucking swimming, how funny. Some people do that shit for fun, but other times it's to like save your fucking life. No, dude, I it's it's got to be one of the swimming is never fun. No, it's got to be one of like not one of the worst tests, but it kind of does, and especially we're like because you're floating and eventually you can't swim because you're tired and you know you're gonna die. So como que le echas ganas y como que no, and then you kind of drown and you're like, I can't die, I can't die, dude. That that death must be brutal, dog. Just being in the middle of ocean trying to survive, and eventually you have to give up. My you're not PTSD, making it. my PTSD is coming back. I'm all traumatized now. Oh. Hey, you think people take shits in the ocean? Oh, oh yeah, dude. Fuck. One time, one time, uh, I was in Mexico and we were like in a river. Mexico. Yeah, we were in a river and I was like 10, 11, 12, around that age. And I had an older, I had, and I was little. No, I had an older cousin. And this fool was like, look at this. Fool goes in the middle of the river, takes his shit. That shit goes all straight up, to, all the way to the top. <laughs> and it's just like, what the fuck, dog? But it's a river, river. We're like, like. In Mexico, and I, it just flowed. It just went down the river real fast. Well, but. you know, the other day, there was this fucking, this, like, bum, this negro. He was, like, kicking it, like, by this apartment building on fucking Vermont. And, like, I guess this food, like, he was, like, making a mess already. And, like, and, and like, just making a mess. And, I like, guess people have, like, he had been kicking around that apartment building. And I guess the lady from the third floor had been seeing him, right, for a while. And then, uh, like, this fool was about to take a shit, like, against the wall. And this lady, like this lady, I, I'm sure that because I saw that I saw the water hit him, and then he fucking just started running, fool. But this lady, she must have been boiling that water or something. <gasps> but like this no. lady, let the, for the for, it was either the second or the third floor. So like the whole dog, and that fool, that fool had his pants down, like he was squatting oh, down, taking shit by the door where these fools come in. So I get why the lady would throw the hot water. And if that shit was fucking boiling, fool, because he was like one of these like. All the black fools had a bald spot and everything. That shit hit him right here and it ran down his back. And that just fucking started booking it. And he tripped because his pants were down. Damn. Yeah. Bro, I wanted you... to start recording it, but I was just started laughing. I was just like, man, I was like, this would have been great for the blog. But I was like, yeah, I was like, you just just be happy you saw it. Considering the fact that I feel about Bum Island. If you if <laughs> if you got to take a shit. Like a homeless style, like what do you how, how you handling that? Like you throwing it out a wall in the forest. No, you were living in the city. The ball for. Like, the, like how the you're guy get, threw it in the wall. You're getting into character. No, he like was like, like, like you know, like putting his ass cheek pressed to the wall. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is you're trying to hide it. You can't. You don't want to be seen. I felt that they do that shit para que no salpique, and it just <laughs> shits like down the wall. I didn't know it was like they were just. I don't know. But it's homeless. These fools don't have like solid shits. It's like fucking splatter and everything. Yeah, it's like fucking Nesquik. Yeah, that's nasty, dog. These fools are pudriendo on the inside. Well, if I was homeless, I just, I mean, this sounds crazy, but like, I would want to live in Venice. So I'd go in there and take a shit in the To be ocean. honest, I don't think then it's like. Then come out, then come out, and then use that water stuff to water the salt off. And I'll get a shower every day. And, dude, it's going to suck, but, dude, if you need a shower, it's going to cold water. They just cracked down on all those homeless people that are staying inside those restrooms in Venice. Oh, yeah? Yeah, there's people in there with all their fucking shit in there. Yeah. I would people go and just set fire to it. <laughs> can't do that. He's on, those are <laughs> human beings. Those point, are unhoused people, according to... Fuck them. Tired of this bums in L.A. shit, bro. Like, dead ass, bro. Like, what the fuck, bro? Like, everybody's sending their bums over here. 
All of a sudden, they're letting 450 Venezuelans come through the border. I was like, bro, nah, but we got bigger problems. You think these fools aren't going to be future bums? <clears throat> so yep. A lot of future bums is what I see. Future bums. Like, there's going to be some people that mean, like, hey, man, I, you know, she ended up getting a job at Baker and working at the Motel 6 doing housekeeping. How many jobs like that can you fucking provide? But you got 450 on, what is it, people that left their country. Come, yeah, I don't know, man. It's a crazy time. Though. But I mean, I mean, I, I gotta be for real though. Everywhere I go, it is always unstaffed. There's never employees. Never nothing stopped. I, I'm not saying we need workers, but people even seem lazy. But everywhere I go, you know how fat the lines are for like bonds. Well, because you know I buy liquor, so I can't do self checkout. Because they just expect everyone to do self checkout. Yeah. They're just so fucking lazy where they just want everyone to do self checkout. I'm like, bitch, I got liquor. I can't. Like, I literally can't. Then you ask them, like, well, you got to wait in line. These lines are fucking massive. Everywhere. And there's just no people. And you know how in Glendale, or I don't know what cities, but now you have to press the button to get toothpaste. How long oh, it takes yeah. for someone to fucking get there. That's why I mess stuff up in the market, bro, because I'm tired of dealing with that shit. Now, now, you know what, dog? Now when I see toothpaste and I see shit, I'm just going to fuck shit up even more, dog. You seem like you're the type of person to stop the people that are stealing and shit because you're just so oh, like... Oh, for sure, dog. Fuck this fucking Oh, you would either? Like, oh, oh, dude. Clothes sure. line them at the very for least. Sure. Like, if you're at Ross, you're at Ross. You went in there to get socks. I'm finding and the car. And two negros I'm finding, there. I'm finding the waiting car outside and pointing the gun while my lady pops the tires. Be like, get away. <laughs> be like, yeah, like, for real. I'm pointing the gun at that motherfucker right there. I like, like your enthusiasm. But it's not your Ross. He's on. But I don't to, care, dog. But we need to find a new approach. <laughs> Yeah. That'll definitely get you nine, uh, five years for fucking attempted murder, but... No, nah, not in California. I'll be out in 14 hours. He is $10, right. $10,000 bail. He is right. He will be out. First offense. I might not even go to jail. They might just be like, well, just don't do it again. Ezone's mad at the homeless. Sam Tripoli's mad at fucking Hawaii. What are, what are you mad about, Xavier? What am I mad about? I'm mad that right now I look like a fucking Tigres fan, dog. You're a Northern Tiger. Oh, that is true, though. You're all right. You're all right. There are Northern Tigers over there at the LAFC game. Good point. Thank you for saving me right there, my boy. Good save. Yeah. But what else am I bad about? I don't oh, have, I remember I was telling you that story about you the don't have papers. I am mad that I don't have papers because if I had papers, I would have a way better hairline. <laughs> I painted this little kid as Batman. Motherfucker thought he actually was Batman. Oh, yeah. You were telling us about this story. This kid was like wild. Special ed? Not special ed. <laughs> normal. Is it a birthday little, party? Or is this it's a, a birthday party. Typical birthday party. How did he ask you? Can you paint me as Batman? <laughs> Pretty much. And like, I just did like some silver... So what, 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 is there a jumper? Are you the main attraction? Yeah, there's is there two, the three-year-olds? Are there fine there's, moms there? Are you, there's a jumper. Does he have typical, Down syndrome? All, all, he has what in him? <laughs> does he have Down syndrome or something? No, he oh. didn't have Down syndrome. Um, He was just hyped. So I finished, you know, it took me like five minutes, you know, to, Black -faced to first. do it. Uh <laughs> what did you say? I can't even. I said you. Uh, you gotta put your headphones on. I, said, I, I had no, the stupid. Uh, I said. Cowboy hat on. I said uh, you black faced him first because <laughs> of that bad coat base. Yes. <laughs> um, Technically, you have to. You have to. So I paint him, and I'm done, and I'm like showing him the mirror, and he just starts like, he he was Batman. He was like, I'm Batman. Soy Batman. So this kid like just starts fucking running around, and all of a sudden I see them like holding him bringing him back and he's like bleeding so apparently he fucking ran into something and fucked the shit up but after a while he was like you know he came back and i cleaned off the blood and fixed it a little bit but man that kid was uh painted on a band-aid yeah <laughs> he, he was batman he was batman he was trying to save uh, his fucking uh, mom from getting beat up by the dad or some shit like damn you're not gonna do it anymore i'm batman what type of birthday parties are you doing? Oh, All dude. typical. Typical birthday parties. Has Okay, you said that. Has there ever been a crazy altercation at one of these parties where like, llega el tío or tío's not supposed to be here? Just, uh, or, yeah, like, too drunk. An uncle, an uncle. like, growing up, dude, like, I had a, fr I had a friend who told me that his, I mean, I'm gonna go, uh, you can go your story, but 
I remember he told me a story that the reason his certain uncle doesn't come over no more is because on a Christmas party, he took a shit in the laundromat. <laughs> oh, that's it? I thought you were going to say some shit like pedophile or some shit. No, nah, it doesn't run in my friends. <laughs> it was like, but, or my friends' families. But, um, yeah, uh, go ahead. Finish okay, your, yeah. I witnessed at this party, this uncle of the family, obviously, was uh, getting too turned up on fucking Bud Lights or Budweiser. Or he was hitting the ball or something. Yay. He goes up. He goes up to uh, a nephew, a child, somebody's kid, and some words were exchanged. And this was a little kid. What could a little kid possibly tell you? I don't know what he probably told him to something to make him mad. Long story short, he fucking smacked the shit out of him. I'm like in a corner, face painting, you know, kind of. But you see with your peripheral vision, everything what's going on. All of a sudden, I see everybody go like kind of rushed him and they kind of pull him outside and like they let him stay at the party. But I think he, that guy was going to get his fucking, he's going to get fucking fucked up or something. Cause he was drunk, but he fucking smacked the little kid. Damn. And I think the only reason that he got away with it was cause oh well, it's that drunk uncle again. He smacked the little kid. Yeah. I mean, I kind of, <laughs> I kind of laugh cause you know, nobody was looking at me, but it was sad when I thought about it in hindsight. Cause that guy had like some big hands. Hey, how hard did he smack him? Dude, hard, it is hard enough for the kid to fucking be like knocked down. And that's why like everybody's like, <laughs> he started crying and everybody's like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, oh, oh exactly. Like scary shit like that. You know, he's probably just uh, projecting on the shit that's going on in his life. So, what, are you, what are you doing in a situation like that? Is it, no, I don't, I don't fucking know. You fucking. Not my uh, kid, so I don't, I don't, you have to defend the kid, dog, especially if you saw it. I, I saw a kid getting hit. I had to do something. <laughs> what is it, me? Those glasses on? He's on like, huh? Turns the other yeah, way. No. Nah, no, but playing. you know you know what's funny? You know how you said uh, someone took a shit in the laundromat? Yeah. Dog. So we had a my family. Friend Steve, always got. We had a family party at my house back in the day, like a Christmas party. And we need on those mistios. Everyone came to the house. And everybody drank. We were like, well, I, was, I wasn't at the drinking age, but I was like, like. 16 where i kind of knew everybody was i was drinking. at the wine cooler age yeah the wine cooler age like um, they're not supposed to know i'm drinking but uh party goes down everybody it's a cool night we're playing contento it's like this little game card game and everyone's having a great time everyone goes to sleep everyone goes to sleep no big deal the next <laughs> morning dog all you hear my dad is like hijo de su puta madre someone <laughs> didn't want to admit it they shit all over the fucking toilet dog like bad Bad, bad, like, like bad, like, hoodstocks? like homeless. Yeah, like what you did at hood, at hoodstocks. No, but worse, yeah. they missed the toilet. Oh, I, I, damn. like jackass, status. like, 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 like bad out drunk. You know how you're hungover as fuck sometimes, and you gotta take a shit. It was one of those shits. And my dad knew, and they didn't clean it. And it was my dad knew too, cause he, it was like my dad, my dad's the paisa that wakes up like a six seven. So my dad was like, that had just happened. It wasn't even like this wasn't that long ago, dude. No one confessed to it, dog. And it, might, it could have been a tia. Could have been my tia, but we were... We were how the, many people The shit it was, dude, I remember seeing it. How many it. people are in the house? I remember seeing it, dog. That was a grown man deal shit, dog. There wasn't a, that wasn't a kid shit. Your mom took a picture? <laughs> no, dude, because my dad called... My, I heard my dad yell. And when your dad yells, you got you show up. I would have fucking ran up there like, a ver. <laughs> I would have really ran up there like, a ver. And I went in there, dude. And my dad was like... Hijo de su puta madre, quien fue, es la puta peda, quien anda bien crudo, quien pisteó ayer, los tacos, la birria, just doesn't eat, just mad, bro, because it's his house, it's our house. So at the end of the day, we <laughs> got to clean it, you know, or my mom's How many people it. is he asking, though? He's asking, it's breakfast, you know how people spend the night? Okay, but how many people is he asking? Like, how many people is There was like, an interrogation 20 people, room. Dog, 20 people. Because people slept, people slept on the floor that night. It was he one was of taking those, people oh to the back God. one by one. Twenty people thought that could have been anybody. That's shit. what I'm saying. That's the, but and and every and the person that did it knew that they weren't going to get caught because there was too many people to point it down on any motherfucker. Do you have an idea of who what might have been? Well, we were picking the fat fucks because this shit was a fat fuck shit, dog. It wasn't, <laughs> dude. Trust me, my, I ran up there. I feel attacked. It was bad, bro. And then it was that time that my mom had the carpet. You know the carpet that you put around the, the toilet at the bottom? Oh, gone. The trash, <laughs> trash, bro. And you, you want to know why I remember? 
Guess who fucking cleaned it? Oh, you had oh yeah, it bro. You. My sister was like, nah, my dad paid me, though. My dad's a mocho. I was like, nah, dog, like, mochate. Because nobody was down, dog. It was bad, bad. And my dad kind of helped me, but I was like, fuck it. Gave me, gave me, gave me 100 bucks. Fuck. That must have been a at fucking like 15, nasty 14, shit. At 15, 14, I was with it. I was like, dude, fuck it. And my mom looked at me, and I wasn't going to make my mom do it, dog. It's a female. Pobrecita, mi mom. This shit with, I mean. Pobrecita. Could have been my mom's fault, too, because that salsa that day. Ooh. Hey. She was pissed. You, my oh, dad hit her look. the night before I was thinking. Hey, Teeny Man is back in the chat room. Oh, what's up, Teeny? Yeah, what up, Teeny Man? Where the fuck you been at? Yeah, Teeny's right. That's a dumbass carpet. It's just piss on it all the time. That's true. That toilet carpet at the, at the, at the bottom of the toilet, it's a dumbass carpet. I don't, need, I don't need something next to the toilet to match the walls. Yeah. Carpet. Teeny's right on that. That's a dumbass fucking... That's a dumb invention. But like, they, if anything, I would just have the toilet paper match the walls. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know what it could have been? It could have been my dad. No, that seems like too much. He still had to pay you. Because if I would have done it, I would have done. The, I would have been like, who was it? No, because that's if it's your own house, you immediately have to fucking clean it up yourself. But... Yeah. I don't okay. know. I don't know. That's what your theory is? Your dad fucking... Stockholm fucking no, well, syndrome? No, well, now, because someone said it was actually his dad, and I was like, could it have been? Now I'm over here doubting my dad. Trust me, dude. It was a Imagine goal. it was your mom. Nah, trust me, dude. This shit was wild, bro. It's just a rabbit hole. It just keeps getting deeper yeah. and deeper. You know, have you ever asked anybody that was in the We in asked everybody. No one kept why don't we? Up. Why don't we call somebody from the chat room? Let, we, let, let me talk about my fucking salty-ass tia that all of a sudden, in front of all my uncles and aunts, I don't know where she's all like, remember when you shit in my pool? And I was just like, what the <laughs> fuck? And I was like, <laughs> what? You yeah, shit in like, someone's pool? Once. Maybe a couple times. That's kind of nasty, fool. I, you know they gotta you know they have to drain the pool, right? I fell in there and really I didn't shit in there. It's more of I fell in there, I came out, and the why do I every time I come back here, I'm always fucking telling a story about me shitting myself. I fucking fell in the pool. I got out of the pool. <laughs> and with the shock, me cagué. And that was just another Water time. Water shocked you that bad you shit yourself? No. Yeah. Well, I mean, we had fucking Papa John's not too uh, long ago prior to that. And then, like, I just fucking fell in there. And it was just fucked me up. And well, you know they have to drain the whole pool. Yeah. It's not so like been, pee. So I've been it's told. not like pee. Yeah, it's not like pee where they can just put a bunch of chlorine and it's gone. They have to drain the whole pool. Like, if someone takes a shit at fucking Raging Waters, that's bad. That's a big deal. So my fucking aunt is like bringing that up. And I'm like, good. Yeah, because you cost her a lot of money. Dude, have to like, drain the pool. You like, ruined the whole pool party. That happened 20 years ago. Fucking. When did she bring it up? I don't know. She's fucking being salty and shit. No, I said when. Oh, just recently at a fucking. Uh, I was uh, visiting my grandma and uh, some uncles were there. And I'm just like chilling, you know, just making small talk. And then all of a sudden she's like, hey, you remember when you uh, shit in my pool? And everybody was like, like a total bully, and that's totally not like her. And everybody's like, ah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> fucking wench. You're supposed to be my fucking madrina. Fucking telling people about when I fucking shit that one time. Fuck. I was seven years old. <laughs> you never fucking, I would honestly, that would have taken some personal, be like, what, what, why are you bringing old shit up, bitch? I would have fucking said some fucked up shit like uh, that. I wanted to, but then I just caught myself. I was going to be like, remember when your fucking uh, ex-husband locked you out of your own house? <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't say that. Straight went there. Fuck, I'm fucking, I hope none of my family or my uh, ladies' family sees this because I've been fucking soltando la sopa. Fucking you have, on dog. I think we should go to the Patreon. You just está soltando la sopa all bad, dog. Would, Te van a yeah. divorciar. Te van a dejar, the, no, not me. I didn't do anything. I wasn't the, the deadbeat dad. You know, True. it was that guy. True. You know, I was there to fucking just. I didn't think he saved y'all marriage. Remember y'all were like, fighting? Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, yeah, I that's true. That was the one good thing that I would I would have busted something like that. Like, remember when my tío hit you? I would have said some shit like that, bro. Brian, that's not funny. I mean, like, no wonder he hit you. Fuck. You don't know when to shut up, huh? Yeah, right? <laughs> you, don't know how to let th you know how to let things go. Yeah. Always got to bring up old shit. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? I think you get hit every fucking Friday. Literally bringing up old shit with yeah. you. Stop bringing up shit up. Does your lady do that to you? Like, I don't know. You're lucky. It, well, it depends sometimes, but not like that. Hell no. I just, I think it's because like, I'm pretty, I'm pretty open about how like my temp, my, my, like I'm, I'm pretty explosive. Like I'll literally be like, I'm angry. Stop. You know, 
just because I don't want it to get, you know, I don't like to get, I don't, not that I don't like to get angry. I just like, it, it takes a lot of, it takes a lot of energy out of me. I don't get angry like the average person. It's so draining. Yeah. It's so draining for the person like me. And like, it goes over to like the next day and the next day. It depends on how bad the fight was. So I really try to like avoid those kinds of shit. That's why I take it. I would, I mean, personally, I take it so personal. When so the cat saves the day for you that day. Yeah. The cat How's was, the cat doing? I'm picking him up from adoption tomorrow. Oh, nice. He's good to go. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be some work because obviously he's scared of everything because he was on the freeway. But um, I'll be the, I'll dock it. I'm recording everything. the whole thing, So it's going to be on my YouTube channel. So, I mean, oh, they'll see it on. I, I kind of want to know how you found him. But you watch the YouTube channel. Go head over to Ezone's YouTube channel. I mean, I did like um, so. So I'll give everybody a short, detailed story on it. Um, but is it uh, I was driving to the Swami. I was in the carpool lane. I I was seen on the side by side of my side eye. I seen that there was a cat there, and I'm Aldo, like, that's what I mean. You're driving. Why aren't you going like 60, 50? Or yeah, like, and you just said. But I you? looked in my rear mirror, and I was like, that doesn't look like a cat that's uh, dead. Looks like it's like in fear and just like in a, fearing for his life. But it's empty because I'm going to the Swami. So it's early in the morning. So I pull over. I go back around and end up trying to get it. Stuff happens in between. CHP shows up, stops traffic, stops everything. Oh fuck! He's like yeah. that. Yeah, it's in the freeway. I saw a you guy got this stop. on camera, huh? You got this nah, on camera. Nah, because the uh, cat was it was yeah, very yeah, it was yeah. very difficult getting the cat, and we ended up having to pull the cat like how we ever we did, and CHP took us to the shelter, and yeah, I'll just leave it there. Oh, wow! I didn't know it was that. I did. Yeah, that's way more than I thought. That's pretty dope. It's very empathetic of you. You know, like you must have just felt shitty for that cat. And you're like, I got to do something. And you pulled over and helped it. I mean, it was on the freeway. It was like the cop was like, yo, that it was, I was going to have to close the freeway up because it was going to be a dead cat sometime during the day. So you're saving tax pa- paper, uh, taxpayer money. Yeah, I guess so. Say, say, you know, and my, might, might I add, you know, I don't know how, how people feel about CHP, but. Those were one of the, some of the nicest officer office, officers I've ever encountered in my whole life. I think I, I think I think they're nicer because they like, don't interact with as much bullshit as a regular. Like cop. literally the nicest and most helpful cops I've ever encountered in my whole life. I almost was like, holy shit! I was like, Bart's need to cook for this division. Damn, he's on. Do you, you support the? You back the blue? Uh, that that always, blue I back up. Always. Yeah, I, I always buy. You know what, dude? Yeah, I, yeah, I do back always, the blue. Dog. Fuck what yeah. Are you talking about yeah, dog. Except for you those see how, shitty you cops. See how defunding the the police is going for everybody who defunded the police. It's not going good for them. Except for those crooked ass. Can't cops. fucking shop at Macy's without fucking, you know, people fucking going and thinking that it's it's free pickings. They don't give a fuck no more. The other day I was at Vons and some lady's like, you didn't pay for this, and she just kept walking. Said I have a receipt, and the lady's like, let me see it. He just keeps walking, and the lady's like. They just go, go to the machine, delete it, and that's it. They don't write no one down. They don't go look at the cameras. They don't do nothing other than delete it, like, like, like broken merchandise, as if as if as if it went bad. It's just crazy how much they don't care. And yeah, still you're pendejo, paying for every fucking water, paying for every fucking <laughs> avocado, while these fools don't pay for shit. Let me tell you something, uh, XG. We live in a society, and this society we live by a certain set of rules. You got to pay for the water. But you know how not to pay for the water? You know how not to pay for the water? I found a trick. You Put walk in after... with a ski mask on no, and no, no, just no, take no. it. Well, that is a, that is the best one. But if you kind of want to get away with it, you put it at the bottom. And sometimes the bitch forgets to ask you if you have anything at the bottom. Not really stealing. That's their job True, to scan but everything. They do but have you put like it camera. at the bottom. And what? I didn't. It's your job to scan. I forgot it was there. You forgot it was there. It's your job to look. No, you're not, you're not gonna go to jail for five bucks. But that's I just bet. a just a free five bucks. It's, it's a free five bucks. Just put it there. Sometimes I tell you. Sometimes I ask you, do you have water? You say yeah. And sometimes they don't. And I'm the type of guy who's always talking to these fucking whoever the fucks there. So I'm trying to distract you're them gonna, from the water, dog. You're gonna be a great old man. Que no más hace pendejo. I'm old. I forgot. Like oh fucking. Oh, I've, I've talked about this. I can't wait to like tell people I have dementia or Alzheimer's and just, so grab you can just random. start randomly touching women. Yep. Cool. I thought my wife's. 
And then my son be like, oh, es que tiene dementia. Deja eso, 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 el señor es 10. Your son's going to be embarrassed. <laughs> my, uh, say, it's just corporations. Yeah, bro, but first they started corporations, dog, and then it's fucking them knocking at your door following you home because you went through $3,000, and that's a lot to them. Yep. There's a great... I'm not really going to go ahead and do that. And then it's like, I feel that you need to give the authority to some kind of people that are qualified to do it because if you give it to somebody that... Handle it on their own. Like, let's just say somebody trusted. We're going to trust E-Zone to make his best judgment. You would have a lot of different people shot every week. E-Zone, more like fucking Judge Dredd. Yeah, like, like I'd be on some RoboCop shit. Like, I'd be like, oh, got too close to my car. And be like, yo, he was the next act. <laughs> like, be like, I'm sorry, dude. You, you need some kind of order, bro. I don't, I don't know. There's a great fucking documentary on fucking... Telemarketers or the fucking people that do the scam oh, yeah, calls. We've seen it. Yeah, we've seen watched it? it. Yeah, it's a good fucking one. Crazy. Landing, landing sucks. We went over it. The ending was trash. Because nothing, they didn't nothing get happens. nothing done. Hmm? Te on telemarketers? You watched it, right? You know, the fucking people to. that say that they're, oh, this is the fucking fireman's fund. We're calling to see. Oh, yeah, yeah. I did watch the whole thing. That yeah. shit was good. Like, so interesting. And, like, these are the motherfuckers that are calling me. That's pretty crazy. You know, like, do you still get them a lot? Do you just hang up or don't even answer when it says scam likely? My, if your number starts with 800-888, I don't usually don't pick up. Whenever it says scam lightly and I pick up, I just start saying the most offensive shit. Uh, dude. I'm like, what's up? Are we on Patreon? Yeah. I'm like, what's up, faggot? <laughs> like, I'm like, like, they're like, excuse me, sir. And I'm like, you heard me, faggot. What are you calling me for? They say and then they just be like, they don't know. They're just like, you picked up a hot, bro. You like the, You talked to the wrong guy. Yeah, they say some shit like, "Oh, we have a tier of like, can you donate twenty dollars? Yeah, they donate, donate and, these you know, nuts. Yeah, donate more and more." <laughs> so then I, I was just like, "This day that they called me, I was having a bad day, so I just took it out on this guy." And he's all like, "Would you like to donate fifty dollars to the fucking, <laughs> you know, uh, firemen's veterans memorial, blah blah blah, for their dead kids or some fucking lie that they say?" Get I'll start saying some fucking fuck them kids. And yeah, fuck you too. So then I was all like, "Yes, I would." I told him yes to everything, yes, and then he's all like, and then uh, I'm all like, uh, you know what? Double it, <laughs> <laughs> double it, and then he kept on. He's fucking with me now, and he kept on saying, "Oh, so you want to donate a hundred dollars?" I'm all like, "Yeah, I would," and then he's all like, "Okay, sir, is this uh, donation would be uh, best for you?" And I'm all like, "No, no, it wouldn't. I want to donate a million dollars," and like, <laughs> and this motherfucker just keeps talking to me. And these guys, these here, these guys, as you saw, are like nuts. Right in the head. They're fucking, you know, just crazy ass Career people. Career criminals. Career criminals. The fucking scariest thing about that telemarketing shit was that guy, that one guy that used to be a fucking uh, inmate. He tried some peyote or some shit and he killed his fucking. Oh, yeah. That guy, guy was fucking the, mean the, and the, scary. No, no, the, the guy that was doing the home calls from home. Yeah. They didn't give a fuck because he was so good. Bro, he, some people were just good at getting money from people, dog. Like that one guy, the, the main guy, not the main guy, but the, yeah, it was the main guy of the show. The nerdy looking for the one that had the wife. I can't believe he had a wife. Oh yeah, the the hair the guy that was on heroin. Yeah, the heroin addict. Yeah, I can't uh, believe that fool had a wife, dog. Slapping his slapping something. His name nickname was. Yeah, but this fool Pat, could sell. Pat the tapper. Yeah, this fool could sell. Pat the slapper. Yeah. You never worked at a place like that. No, I never worked at a place. I like feel that. like George Perez probably. No, did. he did. He he worked at a call center right when he got out of jail. George did that shit. George did exactly what these fools were doing. Uh, Has he seen it? No, nah, he don't watch some type uh, of Oh, like yes. That. Hello. Uh, tell him, I'm what calling he, from the call do? center. Does he just have blood in, blood out on replay every blood day? Blood in, blood out. Right now, football. Bunch of football. Lakers. Um, American Me. American Me. Um, Funk Freaks Music. He's definitely dog. watching uh, Mi, Mi Familia. Yeah, dog. Like, I love living with George, but it was always the same shit in the living room. Is he at least throwing on Boulevard Nights? Oh, he loves, um, he does love um, Peaky Blinders. He loves Peaky Blinders and what? What's the other fucking show? Really? He oh, likes that. And the, the and, Peaky yeah. Blinders, mate. And the show from you uh, cunt. The Wu Tang show on HBO. He loves that shit. It's just that he just on replay, dog. He knows all the quotes. He knows exactly what's about to happen. Wu Tang. Wu -Tang. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't do that shit. Yeah, I can't I, watch the same same shit over and over. Did you ever watch Bitch Ass House? Fuck that fool. The Doctor? Yeah. yeah. I kind of I like, I like that show. I wish he was my doctor, though. <laughs> Fuck that fool. I wish he was a real-life doctor. Would you really, though? Here. He was a little kind of a piece of shit doctor. Yeah, but he was smart. Yeah. 
He's all like, like if he ever almost killed me, he'd be like, no, 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 this is how we save him. <laughs> like, yeah, like he just, I don't know. I trust his judgment. You wouldn't? Yeah, of course, dude. I mean, it's house, but it's just like he was a druggie. Like, I really, really want, like, wouldn't you be a druggie if you had access to be a doctor? Like, you'd be like, damn, if I OD, I'll just take this pill. <laughs> I mean, do you ever hear, do you ever watch a documentary? I'm sure it's on Netflix about the lady that worked for the FBI or the CIA where they would send her the drugs that they confiscated. She was supposed to pendeja, test them. Yeah, she was supposed to test them. And this pendeja was doing them. Yeah. And they, like, a like lot. A like, became an addict, dog. Yeah. Like, where they were missing, where they're like, where the, well, how is there? And then her dumbass started getting smart. She started putting water in the LSD. No, but, like, yeah, a big old jar of LSD. And she's like, I'm just going to start fucking taking it straight from there. D drops, dog. You, know, you take drops of acid. This bitch said chingo nitro. Damn, all by herself? Solita, yeah, she'd go to work and be high on, on the best of it because she would test it and she would know there's no fentanyl in it. She'd get the pure, so the pure dog, and she would give it to her friends, and she became an addict. And such an addict that she was doing it on the job, and one day she forgot the pookie, and they found the pookie in her desk, and they investigated. She got pookie with the pookie? Yup, and they investigated, dog, and she fucked up for the government because now you got to think about it. Would you, try, would you try that mess, though? Like those kind of drugs. Oh, for if I can test it, I know exactly it is what I'm. But if trying. it's the purest, like you're like, yep. damn, this is government. Yep. At the very least, I'm fucking yeah. going like yep. that to it. I like, want the pure, pure doggy. I want the pure, pure. Would you try heroin? Yeah, for oh, it's pure. Can't die. You know, you can't die from heroin if it's pure. Only thing you die from is from fucking all the other bullshit they put in it. Is that true? Yeah, it's really very hard to die from pure from pure uh, opiate. Like, do you know there was the opiate wars? Do you know one fourth, one one of out, of out of every four people in China were addicted to opium, like in the in the 1700s before yeah, the opium wars. Then. Yeah, it was bad, bro. And the Chinese did not like it. And the person and the the UK, the England people were selling it, so they had to put like a stop, no more. And they went to war with England because England was like, "Bitch, you're we're making boatloads of money off of you guys." And China was, "You're not giving this to my people no more." And that's when they shut down China, and China did it. Advance with the rest of the world. This is a history podcast. Yeah, I drop some shit sometimes. That's why. Yeah. That, that's why China's getting its revenge on poisoning our shit in mm -hmm. our food. Uh, they're poisoning our shit with their, our kids' minds and shit because they're just like, oh, and the drugs, mainly the drugs, the fentanyl. That's all shit. All that shit's coming from China. They knew that they just had to get in cahoots with all these old drug organizations that be like, no, 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 just start mixing it with this, and then they're producing it everywhere else. But imagine and look at what look at what we have now skid, wonderful skid row that has spreading everywhere like a cancer out here you got people over here walking breaking into every goddamn store you can't you gotta drive 56 miles to shop completely fucking his own uh reminds me of the comedian from fucking uh watchman like this place used to mean something well because he he's grew up in la so he's been seeing the whole rundown of it I bet, but it's just, I think he's going to fucking suit up his fucking Iron Man suit and do something about it. I wish I had an Iron Man suit, dude. I'd be blowing up so many things. <laughs> yeah, what, what, I mean, what would you be doing, dog, if you had something like that? <sighs> they should just build a fucking... A wall? I agree. No, a fucking, like... <laughs> all right. North Korea. Now, hear me out. China. They have those camps, right? Camps? I agree. No, they like send their people to camps. Anyways, I'm not saying let's send all the homeless to a camp. But what if it was a fun camp? You know, the only thing they find like, fun is doing drugs. You're gonna give them drugs? Well, yeah, but like they go do them at this place, like um, Treasure Island or whatever. You know, they all gotta go over there and live Vent over there. Vent Island. Vent Island. Send all the the bombs. Vent. I mean, they're gonna uh, Fentanyl Island. That's what they're gonna do anyway. But why don't I mean, I don't mind. We should get into politics. But then the ocean's gonna be polluted. Then, like, the shark species are gonna start dying when they start eating these fucking poison people. <laughs> Messed out sharks. Please so don't. And then, what? I swam in my honeymoon. I swam in the ocean, Mexico. Nice. I thought about you. I was like, damn, these don't would have loved this. I got in the ocean in Mexico without a life jacket. Ray oh. is. Uh, are you guys still in the honeymoon phase? And I mean that with all due respect. You know, as you know, I'm I'm part of the. With club. all the respect, no, we are not. 
Really? Is it like starting to? <laughs> no, I mean, you know, it's good. Be honest. Be honest. It's good. She's starting having to nag you yet. The nagging hasn't started. <laughs> You're a year there. into it, right? You're, you you got married last year. Yeah. The nagging's there sometimes. Yeah, but like, do you feel anything's changed now that you're married? Yeah, definitely. But for the better, right? Yeah. That's what a lot of people were like scared about. Commitment. Xavier, looking at you. Oh, I'm good. He is scared. You see, Ray Ray leveled up. I leveled up. I'm pretty sure. This isn't, we are, po we are level up. We are Pokemon. These aren't. These isn't Pokemon. Hey, where I got don't level fuck up. It. Don't say. Are don't you level? Oh, okay, well, you're. I want to see your next level up. When's your kid coming? Don't get me hyped up on Pokemon now. Yeah, bro. Get me so back to raw dogging. Ain't that shit fun? Until it's not. Raw dogging is like a trap, bro. It's like a treat. It's like a sweet treat. That you just fucking do it and do it, and you're like, oh no, no, I'm having too much fun. I'm having too much fun. Let me get a condom. <laughs> oh. Ray, you dirty dog. Yeah, you never want to like. And then once you like had a taste of it, bro, you never want to put one on anymore. That's how they trap us, honestly. I'm not saying like the baby, but like they give us a taste of that fucking sweet, sweet, unfiltered <laughs> raw. <laughs> you know, just tastes like it. Just uh, taste fucking feels like a fucking just the ocean, just wet. I've never looked at vagina as it like it's unfiltered. Well. Like I said, me and my girl, you know, we're we're, we're responsible. Filter. We use birth control. But lately, your boy's been fucking going raw now. You're going raw now, child. Your kid, your your parents want a kid. My mom, she definitely my um yeah. I won't hear it from everyone. Me and my sisters are the only ones in my family, my giant family, that don't have kids of our own. I mean, I have my little dog. But that's as good as it gets. And like right now, me and my girl are being responsible, you know, but there has been a time, a couple times where it's just like I had, my period didn't come. I'm like, fuck. You get the Arthur hand. <laughs> <laughs> what would Xavier do right now? What would <coughs> Saint, down, Saint Xavier say to me right now? Start a oh, fucking abortion <laughs> GoFundMe. Land Parenthood. I'm telling you, dude. I think uh, I'm gonna be the first one that starts an abortion GoFundMe. Can you do that? You can start a GoFundMe for anything, right? I mean, I'm sure they're gonna tell me I can't, but technically, no I should be able to. You ever broke up with a girl before Valentine's Day to avoid Valentine's Day? Nah, I'm not that type of guy. Nah. No, I'm cool. I've done, I've done cute, fucking lame ass shit, dude. On That's happened to Day. me before, like on my birthday, when somebody broke up with me before my birthday. Oh, Dang. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was, I'm going down. And then I was like, I'll take you back, bitch. Right? <laughs> Did just, you? Yeah, just to cheat on her. Oh. Yeah, just I was like, take that, bitch. It's over now. <laughs> it was. It was. I was weird. like 18 though, man. It was weird for me. There was one Fucking time. Slut. One time, some girl broke up with me, and she broke up with me a little bit after my birthday. But I thought we were like 1,000 because she had just given me a pair of Jordans and my birthday was like a week ago. So she gave you a pair of Jordans? Gave me a pair of Jordans on my birthday and then a week later broke up with me. Her boyfriend And I thought out. we were great. You know, I just got a pair of Jordans. Those were her boyfriend's Jordans and he found out. I don't know what happened. I'm not saying you're right or wrong, but it was, I was like, wait up, what? Because I thought we were great. I was like, bitch, just gave me some Jordans. Hey, we good. should fucking, we should have a, we should have a. We're good. Uh. Uh, what is it? A uh, newlywed game abortion uh, tier on fucking Patreon. <laughs> abortion tier? Yeah, like if in case Xavier were to ever get pregnant, we could have some people sponsor the abortion. I'll show you. I'll show you the fetus that comes out of Planned Parenthood. Nah, I don't want to see that. I don't see I'll that. ask for a picture of it. I was like, can I get a picture of my kid? Somebody Photoshop uh, Xavier's head onto just some random uh, sonogram, <laughs> so we can see just his face being like. Ah. Would oh. you get mad if your lady pranked you like that though? Like what? Like if like she got some show like uh like punked and then she told you Xavier I'm pregnant. Some yeah. sometimes they tell you that shit just to see what your reaction is gonna be. Yep. <laughs> really? Yep. Man, that's a joke that would. Uh, you don't think them telling you? <laughs> Imagine I that joke backfires period. on them real yep. quick. Yeah, I miss my period. Sometimes they don't miss their period. Next time she says that, you say, "Let me see your vagina." 
the, stick, your finger <laughs> stick your finger in there. Okay, fuck it. There's no blood. She, if you see blood, bitch is lying. You. She, she, like, she, wanted, uh, she wanted to see the reaction of you when you said no or yes or oh fuck, what do we do? Wasn't it T.I. that had his uh, daughter's examined to make sure she was still a virgin? Yeah. Getting some T.I. vibes from you, XG? Damn. Would you do that, XG? Nah, this is none of my business. But if you had to? Why would I have to? It's my daughter. I don't give a fuck what she does. She's already like 17 or 18 or 16 at that time. I'm highly sure it's a called a... Somebody said check the oil. What's it called? A Heimlich or what is it? The Heimlich maneuver? No. Hymen. Uh, Hymen, Hymen yeah. Hymen, the Hymen maneuver. No, there's something like that that it's called uh, where they're... Uh, yeah, dude. When they fucking... Something breaks and that's what makes their period come out. It's like when they're riding a horse. Yeah, is it that? Yeah, it's like a... Break the break the heist. I don't know. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, like that little crystal in the fucking menthol cigarette. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once that, you gotta crush yeah. it. Yeah, you gotta crush it. And technically, your dick's supposed get, to crush it. Once you pop the menthol crush. Yeah, and supposedly your dick's supposed to crush it. But I guess if you ride horses or a very active female, you can pop it like that. But I mean, that's what every horse is gonna say. It's because I'm active. No, actively slutty. Yeah. So. Yeah. Don't tell me you're a virgin if I'm not gonna see blood. All of a sudden you listen to little Nas X, huh? Yeah. Do you think a girl Tyrone. hey, you think a girl ever told her boyfriend that she was a virgin and then she just waited to have sex with him on her period? What do you mean? Exactly what I mean. Say it <laughs> I know again. what you mean, Dad. <laughs> you, you think a girl I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. You you think a girl ever said, I'm a virgin? I've never been with anybody, and then she just waits to have her period and then she has sex with the fool that day. And she's yeah. like, I told you I'm a Hell, yeah. I told you I'm a virgin. Look at his face. <laughs> no, no, because I heard that girls are like super horny when they get their period or that their orgasms are like fucking, you know, insane when they're on their period. Do you know anything about that? Have you heard anything about that? Oh, they're always horny on their period. Yeah, I think that's because uh, it's 100 percent. Yeah, it, it's hormones and shit, I think. Yeah. Hormones. And hormones. Because they obviously. can't even get pregnant on there. <laughs> I heard when they're on their period, I heard you can't get pregnant on there. <laughs> That's when you raw dog it, fool. That's when you raw dog. Yeah, it's a uh, rule of thumb. It's more like a puncher in the stomach with a lot of ketchup. <sighs> you like you like your hot dogs with ketchup? No ketchup, but you know sometimes it happens, and you got you can't make your feel you can't make your partner feel shitty when they're on their period because that's just natural, you know. They get really embarrassed. They, they get all. You do tell them to go I'm take sorry. a shower though. Well, yeah, it's like. Mandatory. Like, you gonna dirty the sheets? No. That's why I don't have white sheets. F. Yeah, that's a good reason. Hey, what's um, what's ever been an ick for you, dog, on a date or from a partner? Uh, like a pet peeve. Like the deal breaker for you. Like, what's been the ick? Oh. You know how bitches have that. Yeah. But you know, like guys have that shit too. Where it's like it's like a, it's like the deal breaker where you're like, oh man, everything was cool, but this bitch, fucking, she spoke to me and her breast smelled like Cairo, you know, or 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 or, or something like that. I'm not gonna lie, if, if you know, if I was in the, in the dating scene and then some girl talked to me and she was no matter if she was fine, but she had Cairo breath, dog. Oh, I can't. I don't think I'd be able to fuck you unless you're 69ing, bitch. Here, you could fucking talk to my ass since you smell like it. Too. I mean, you can do something about that breath, you know, shoot her a toothbrush, some, nah, dude. some scope. Cairo had a dead body living in her. So, like, I know for a fact that if I had to compare it to that person, there's no coming back from that. You need you throw the whole person away. Well, for me, he's on. She's got to carry a conversation because if she's a, <laughs> a, a dumb dumb, then it's like, nah, that's that's a, that's hey, a boy, P for a me. Why? Because I go like this. It's the hat. I'm telling you. Like, are you playing a bit? No, I'm not. Bit? No, I'm not. I'm just. I have. I'm having fun with you guys right here. Just banging and tagging. So what? So what would be a a, a deal breaker? Oh. What's the issue? She can If she's like dumb, like she could be beautiful, sexy, all that stuff. But if she's fucking like, stupid. yeah, that's a, that's a big turn off. Because it's like, okay, you can. But what's what's stupid for you? Like, just like. Ditzy, does, like, I'm what's not talking a question? About, what's a question? Like, let's say you're almost gonna give up. You're I'm like, not okay. talking about. I need to know about world politics or any shit like that. But it's like, 
what do you like jack in the box or burger king more <laughs> that's i feel dumb like just eat your, eat your burger bitch eat your, burger, eat, your, burger. eat your fucking chicken nuggets you know isn't that like wouldn't that do it for you xavier or you don't care would that uh, be i mean plus? if we're going there uh you can't be you gotta like a little bit of conspiracies if we were full-on sheep that's what I'm saying. Like, have something to talk about. Yeah, like, I can't you know, handle that. Carry a conversation. But if you can't, like, talk about anything, it's like, dang. Then, like, the yeah. relationship ain't Oh, gonna see, work. okay, Like, okay. you would get okay. mad if your lady told okay. you, I really was hoping Bernie Sanders would have won. Yeah, no, no, okay. Here, here's what it is. This like, is, we, like, would you have punched her or This what? is 100% for real that I couldn't stand. I couldn't stand homegirl because all she gave a fuck about was Kim and all she listened to, And all she listened to was Beyonce? Was EDM and rave. Like, I asked her, do you listen to anything Arizona? else? No. Temecula. Damn. Bro, all she listened, like, I get in the car, EDM, EDM. Hey, uh, all the conversations was hot. And then I was like, you don't listen to, like, hip-hop, rock, nah. So every EDM. Time, every and that, time, to me, was just a turn-off, because I like all Every time you got into her car, it was like, push me. <laughs> and then just, just touch me. me. <laughs> yeah. And then she goes to hard style. She had like different, like it wasn't all the same type of EDM, but there's different styles of EDM. And she was just all about it. And it was kind of cool in the beginning, but I'm like, bitch, have you ever heard of fucking Frank Sinatra? Have you heard of Selena? Have you ever heard of the Cadetes de Linares? Yeah. Like, do you know music? Do you, have Super you heard ho? of fucking Tim McGraw? I, I no puro EDM. And then I, I, then I like, do you like Mexican music? And then she would just give me an EDM song with the Mexican beat in it. He's like, well, you hear some Mexican music. Mm. And I was like, that was a big turnoff where if you don't, if all you'd like is one type of music, like if I met a girl and all she did was listen to Banda all day, every day, that would blow my mind too. Yeah. I don't care how you are. I don't care how buchona you are. I don't care if you got the sack on you. Yeah, I don't care if you got the sack on you. I don't care. I don't, and I love mariscos. I don't care if every week we go have our guachiles, but I can't listen to Banda every day. Pinches mariscos? Yeah, dude. Sometimes. But yeah, like honestly, like sometimes if I eat like two cups of agua chiles from old Coreas, oh, yeah. I'd be like oh. Could you use them? Could you date someone that just listened to hip hop or just rock? Like a like a rock chick. If would you date someone that just all I the have time if I have before and then I just after a while I'm just like we can't go to the same concerts together. Bitch. A metal a metal goth chick. A metal goth mommy. Yeah. I've been I've been there before. Yeah. And I just, yeah, it's like, I'm just like, I can't go to, uh, <clears throat> can't go to certain shows with you, bitch, because I just don't like this shit. I remember I tried it. And I'm just like, I'm not going to go see Marilyn Matson. Yeah. Like, I'm just like, bitch, you're having fun here. Like, bitch, I feel scared. <laughs> Too many white people here. Yeah. What's that? What's the, what's that ache for you, Ray? Or what was the ache for you? As far as what? Deal break. Like what you were dating. Or a turn off. Uh, Republican. Damn. Damn. So what, like if she was, what if she was a Trump supporter? Done. Bye. You're fired. That's Bye. okay. I'll live with that. Yeah, you're gone, dude. Gone. Damn, like that? That was tight, though, dog. <laughs> I love how you guys are like best friends. <laughs> <laughs> Who's tight? <laughs> Who's tight? <laughs> Who's ruined Who's supposed like? to be the president? It should be more than tight. I do agree with. I do agree with Ray. The president should be better than he's just. I want him to tight. win just so he can fucking come out to the Hulk Hogan song. Hey, fool, gas went up, dog. What the fuck? Dude, the Biden did that. I just paid six fifty for a gallon. Dude, I pumped a hundred dollars. You know, say so you know. That shit wasn't no, even it was premium. right. It was. No, I always pump premium. Like, oh, I, like, fuck. Like, I always have it. Like, and, I, and it usually will fill up on the cheapest. It's been, it's been like $68. And then, like, just a recent, I'm like, 100 bucks is right exactly a full tank. I'm like, for a V6? I'm sorry, a v, a V4, I think, yeah. God, that's wild. It's all the Ukraine's fault. It technically is. Nah, we got to pay for all these uh, Venezuelans that are coming over. 450,000 people that are on the railroad. 400? 450. Thousand. Where are they gonna put them? Texas, New York, and uh, middle states. All Democrat voters. 
be like, hey, remember who did this for you? Well, they haven't given me papers, and I've been here for 27 years. Do you think those stories? These the people are getting again? automatic legal status. Yeah, yeah, I'm a little upset. He's on. Yeah, you're just like that. Just hit home right now. Where I was like, wait up, what? I gotta marry some bitch to get papers, and these fools just come in here because they're Venezuelan and they got a stupid accent. Yeah. Yes. Well, they're 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 they do have a dictator down there, and they are starving. Yeah, but, but like, it's I really not... don't give a fuck. Give me papers first, and then we'll do, we'll figure out what they we we do with them. Right, Patreon? Should I start a GoFundMe? Even though that's not gonna do it. No, it's not. You should actually get deported and then come back to the four hundred and fifty thousand people, and then they're gonna you know. Oh, so what you're trying to say is right now I should <coughs> go on Expedia.com, find a flight to Venezuela. No, just Mexico. Might as well just go straight to Venezuela, dog. How am I gonna get from Mexico to Venezuela? Either way, I'm about to no, buy they, flight. No, they they they're, they go through Mexico and not like all these people. Oh, yeah, so I'm gonna wait and jump in. Yeah, they they hopped on a bunch of empty trains and then for some reason, like somebody has to control these trains. They they didn't have to, if they're empty and they're carrying nothing but people. Why are you making them go? If you know that, you know what I mean? Why are you, what, who who made this empty? Who's, Mexico, and then you, you know they're paying Mexico to let them go by. Chinese Chinese people right now are going through Mexico to get into the U.S. They're the ones giving the fentanyl to the cartel. Yeah, teaching them how to make it. Teaching them how to make it, selling them the synthetic products, shipping them to Mexico. You think the cartel knows how to make fentanyl? No, dog. Someone taught those chemists how to make it. And they're like, and oh, we don't have those chemicals. Don't trip. China makes them. China don't. China literally makes chemicals to make fentanyl, but they're not allowed to make fentanyl. And uh, fentanyl is illegal in their country. There's a pan. You know how they get away with it? They make a, a the panda. They let the pandas make the fentanyl. They make the pandas make the fentanyl. That's how they get around it. Yeah, Xavier. <clears throat> yeah, Xavier. We're experiencing a, what you call a border like, crisis. Like the exorcist. I thought you got possessed for real quick. No, I'm just. I know, I heard. I know. I'm. St I'm still pretty. I I'm not gonna lie. The RSO finally, the SHO finally started to hit. Like for the last hour, I've been feeling it, but not Stout. like on a Disneyland level. Righteous, yeah. righteous. <laughs> you watch a lot of TV, huh, fool? Yeah, I do. I, I tend to repeat just fucking catchphrases and films, shit from uh, movies. It's a curse. You probably bet. You probably like. Uh, you probably one of those fools that like. A Kill it at one of those trivia games. Yeah, I'm really quite <clears throat> good at it. Like, uh, you can play almost any snippet of any random movie, and uh, I got a high chance of uh, guessing the movie. You want to try? Do you do it at bars? No. R raise, raise, raise the movie guy. So if anything, Ray, do you have some trivia for? Hey, him? when I saw that oh, video, really? when I saw that fucking video of the immigrants coming through, I just fucking pictured that intro for fucking uh, <laughs> that the game song. Crip niggas, Asians, that's the Jamaicans. Hit, what is it? Latin oh, keeps the West, it's called the West Side Story. Yeah, that's yeah. called the West Side Story. Yeah, that's yeah, but like he shouts out game? everybody. Yeah, <laughs> Crips, Bloods, yeah. Essays, yeah. Asians. Asians. Yeah. I, don't know, I don't say the other part. Dominicans, Latin Kings, Jamaicans. And I don't know what else it says after that. It says the N word. I mean, we're on Patreon. We can fucking play the song. <clears throat> you know that, right? Yeah, I'm telling you, dog. That piano goes hard in that song. It does. What was that? Can you guys hear that? What? Damn. I'm so not. I, I don't have an, uh, like a musician's fucking ear or whatever. Plug I cannot, me into the Matrix, Neo. I cannot hear the fucking the piano like you guys said. You can't appreciate the beat? I, yeah, I don't hear it. Like, well, you guys, yeah, I mean, you rap. Yeah, yeah, you're you rap, listening so more you to the know. lyrics? I'm just listening to music, dog. Like, I do, 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 do. Start right now. You guys hear the, yeah. you guys hear the piano? No, not yet. Yeah, how do you not hear it? I don't know what a piano sounds like. No, that's the piano. Right there, and that's a different piano. Okay, now I can I can hear that key. I can hear that key. Yeah, but the other one was a piano too. It was just the higher notes in the front. Oh, yeah, and then it goes to... Come on, dog. I don't know. I'm telling you, I never had that. That I think I really do think it's a, a not a talent, but a skill. I really do think it's a skill to be able to hear like tempos and beats and I don't know. All that I'm shit. sorry for not getting here earlier. I felt like I again fucking got here late. Didn't give me enough time to do like more shit with the face painting. But what do you guys think of the face painting? Was it? Oh, all, it looks great. Yeah, was it was okay? Cool, yeah. 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 
feel like with Tigres Norte, if you give me that hat real quick, I'll be fucking. Throw it on. Throw it on. I think you got a. I think I got a bigger head than you. No pun intended. The other way. The other way. It's a big. It's a little big head right here. That could just be your costume for Halloween. You could just have a tiger face made and put one of those hats. And be like, what are you? Tigres del Norte. I do look good. Tigres del, what, like George says, Tigres del Northgate. Tigres del bootleg Northgate. ass Northgate, dog. Ass. I'm sure you have uh, some sombreros at your house. Well, I have yeah. botas and everything, dog. My, dad's, my dad lives that lifestyle. A Tejana hat? Yeah, my dad loves that lifestyle. It's in your blood. It's in my blood, dog. Hey, let's open up the phone lines, though, for real. Yeah, though, have man. these fools call in, yeah. Let's open it. Up. By the way, we're not going to have a show on Saturday, guys. We will not be having a show on Saturday. So take that time off to fuck around and find out what life has in store for you. Um, yeah, you can you can take this time, though, to go to highandhungryexperience.eventbrite.com. We're at fucking 225 people that are registered to come, about 25 vendors out of 30. And I do have the rest of them that are going to be confirmed by the end of the week great food vendors 20 percent off everything there i'm trying to make the make it the most entertaining for you guys but just come around and shop support small vendors plan a day plan a day out of it the beach is, is not too far from there it's at huntington beach october 14th make sure you get your tickets and if you want to uh, what is it do a vip style you can go ahead and get the vip bag it is going to be worth at least over 200 dollars this is going to be the best VIP bag ever that I've ever done. Um, yeah, like I said, and also don't forget uh, all the stuff that's going to be going up on the website, flavorsbyezone.com. Make sure you subscribe to our newsletter. All you got to do is put your email and you will receive all updates and everything like that on that website. And go watch the new episode of High and Hungry featuring uh, the Oogie Boogie Bash. Uh, this is probably the highest episode of High Hungry that I've ever done. So please enjoy it for your entertainment. And if you uh, want to, you know what I'm saying, if you want to take that uh, time right now to place that phone call, you could go ahead and call up right now. Call up right now and just chop it up. Who, who we going to bet is going to call up first? Is it going to be the dog fool or the fool from Arizona? Mm, I'm shooting for Arizona. He's in the chat already. I saw that fool. Yeah, I mean, either way. I don't, was the number pinned up right? Thank you. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what. I don't have it right now. What, so, oh, dude, um, but how, after we get Reverie, we should try to get Jenny 6 9. That's a pretty far jump. But you think so? Yeah. I think Snow White, Snow the Product would be a bigger jump. I mean, I think it's easier to get Snow White than Snow the Product. You know. But. Fuck you. Somebody said, Tigris <laughs> fan, if I ever seen one. Oh, fuck you, dog. Everybody send like this to, to all the homies at the LAFC game. And then on fucking uh, on Saturday, when I get them tickets to go to the game, just put, put it. Don Limon's going to fucking sock you, dog. Don Limon ain't going to sock me. He He's a lover, not a fighter, dog. He just wants to fight Cosmo, dog. You didn't read his post? He's here for Cosmo. He a put from Cosmo. Can you imagine the fool that's under Cosmo is like some buff-ass fool? MMA fool. <laughs> Bro, that would be so weird to watch. I don't want to see him get beat up. Huh? I don't want to see him get beat up. I want to see anyone get beat up. I want to see anybody fight in mascot suits, dude. They have to fight with the mascot suit on. He doesn't really have much of a suit. He has to put on the whole Ted. Yeah. Ted is like universal IP, bro. Like I know. LA, like he has to fight in like a bird suit or something. I sent the clip to Rich. Of course he did. He ignored your ass. <laughs> Probably has you like restricted and blocked. Straight up. Fucking over here calling it, calling his team fucking Chivas USA number part two. I'm telling you, that's why women don't watch the show because you. Because me? Yeah. What the fuck do I have to do with that? They, they, you know, they know you don't respect them. You know, like my fully toxic videos I yeah. make on Fridays? I got a new one coming for you guys tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. How toxic is it? It's all right. It's okay. Yeah. How's your uh, Tecate sponsorship coming along? Not have you yet. have you have you writ written them yet? No, I want it to happen naturally. You gotta take action, son. 
It's just like in Yellowstone. I want my calf back. My cows. <laughs> or my steers. Have you ever been on a horsey zone? Yeah, when I was a kid. Yeah? It's pretty cool. <laughs> I would go horseback ready. <laughs> Is it hard? <laughs> I haven't been in forever, dog. I can't even lie about that shit. Because we're at that age that like we can we can technically end up being retarded. Oh dude, yeah. Like the like the Superman guy? Yeah, Christopher Reeves. Yeah. Yeah, Fucked yeah. up his back. Do you think that's a curse? What? Do you know they say there's a curse that when you play Superman, te pasa algo? No wonder. Thank God Nicolas Cage didn't do it. You just saved Nicolas Cage. He's nice. Have you heard of that myth, Ray? Nope. Arizona. No. Thank you for calling. We don't smoke the same podcast. Who's this? Hey, what's up? It's Jonathan. What's good? What up, Jonathan? Thank you for calling. Where are you calling from? Hey, bro, I'm calling you from, well, right now I'm in L.A. What's up? What's <laughs> up? Orale, dog. So where are you from? But, um, hey, bro, um, I don't mean to uh, cut you off, but, shit, speaking of Rob, uh, bro, I'm picking up some birth control right now. Waiting for the plug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're going to want to rob that right now. Where you at, hey, at CBS? Where, okay. where you at, CBS? <clears throat> nah, bro. I'm fucking over here. I know a guy who I hit up. He's out. I bet. I'll be there right now for 20 bucks, bro. <laughs> for birth yeah, control? Yeah, bro. Up, bro. Like, hey, call him Let him know. <laughs> for birth control, dog? Oh, shit. I don't know if I'd take birth control from a guy. Woo, doggy. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if uh, I'd take birth control from a guy for $20. Is it good stuff? You, know, you used it before? Uh, yeah, Plan B. Oh, she said Plan B. Yeah. Oh, Plan B. Okay, yeah, as long as the package is sealed, that's actually a good deal. That's a $60 pill. Yeah, bro, yeah. Yeah, the Plan B, yep. Yeah, and dude. who's paying for it? You're making her pay he's for it, right? For, he's a oh, gentleman. Oh, for sure. He's for twenty dollars, you can't. Oh, it's you can't, date night. You're paying. What are you gonna do? You tell her to sell you ten bucks? You can't afford to look bad if it's twenty dollars. Yeah, oh yeah, well, like he's the one that nutted in her. Yeah. The one that's gotta pay like, for yeah. it. Twenty bucks. He can spare twenty bucks, and he still gotta take her out to go get the most. Twenty dollars over yeah. over fucking do the whole pet sperm. Twenty dollars well spent there. Easily. Good job there, Jonathan. One of the best twenty bucks you've ever spent, homie. Yeah, that's classic. For sure, man. Hey, I'm up right now. Oh, my God. We're going to do the exchange. Hey, what's up, bro? Hey, what's up? Thank you, bro. Right now, you're going to hear gunshots. Oh, what's up, bro? It's E-Zone, bro. I don't know if you watch. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, bro. Thanks, bro. All right, bro. <laughs> You just called this phone. <laughs> all right, cool. Well, all right, bro. Hey, this is trying to put him on the fucking phone, fool. And he was like, hey, fool, I'm going to put that shit on me. So tell that fool that we know he's slanging drugs on the... We know he's slanging plan Bs on the podcast. That fool probably sells soap, too. <laughs> hey, give us his number, dog. I want plan B for 20 bucks, too. Funny, <laughs> They're probably yeah, just... Dog, they're they're M&Ms. Sure. Dude, yeah, if, the, if the baby makes it, you're down syndrome for sure. Well, well, oh. t- tell him, tell him, look, tell him, look. Tell them about the podcast. Tell them to give us a promo code. We'll tell all the maniacs on here for the promo code for the twenty dollar pill. And for every twenty, for every twenty we sell, we get a free one. You down for a free? Tell them I'll paint his face for a whole plan B. Yeah, but uh, for sure, man. Let the homie know. <laughs> for sure, man. Gracias, homie. Thank you for calling up, dog. Palabra. Appreciate you, dog. You want me to? Much Later, love homie. respect, guys. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers dog. Hey, hey, just a reminder, you can nut in her for like a couple more hours after she takes the plan B because they like don't kick in yet. You got, you got like a 48 hour window, window span. Yeah. Pretty really toxic. Jinx, you almost What? Know. Just saying. Like, I don't know, some girl took it and then I still thought I was like, I can still go for one more, right? If you didn't get through, feel free to call up again. Feel free to call up again. I mean, we are at the last 30 minutes as well. So feel free to call up again. And we will not be doing the show on Saturday. So make sure you guys get your. Uh, Calls in, but you will be receiving a double show on Thursday, next Thursday. Back to back. You want to tell them who the who the guests are? Um, <clears throat> I'm on RSO right now, but one of the guests is Reverie. Reverie. Reverie will be the guest for the night show, so make sure you guys tune in seven to nine. She's a great singer. She gets down. She gets down. I mean, I wish Rock was here so he can like make beats and she can maybe rap. 
Oh, we can we can try to but we can try to ask him. Rock Pretty showed dope. up. Rock, Rock had, showed up to the yesterday. I did a demo. Oh yeah, and, I saw that. Yeah, shout out to. Uh, let me see what. Yeah, how was your demo? Yeah, let me give a quick fucking shout out to the good people at. Uh, what is it? Especially, I always get this shit confused. Green Angel eight one eight. Green Angel eight one eight. Uh, home of the home of the ninety ones. You know what I mean. Uh, make sure you guys check them out. Where, where's the They're right there on fourteen thousand Ventura Boulevard, out there in Sherman Oaks. It is a nice area right there, and they carry propens. And they had a deal yesterday, and they're trying to do it once a month, where you do uh, you buy one get one. You know what I mean? One of the propens. So make sure you stop by there. Over there, he's on sold. He's on told me they sold out. Okay. Yeah, we they yeah, sold out so yesterday. Don't sleep on that. Don't sleep on that. Salute to everybody who came out. There were some people that came out just to support and got themselves some pens. I mean, it was pretty great. Pretty awesome. What are you going to do with your day off, Xavier? I don't know just yet. Uh, you got me thinking. I don't know. Maybe buy some buy oh, some we're trying to go to the LAFC game. Oh, yeah, that's, that's right. Saturday. Yeah, that's Saturday night. Probably go to the LAFC game. Chill. At night, though. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really do nothing in the morning. Probably go to the gym. Nothing crazy. Yeah, you just kind of just chill at home all day. Yeah, well, I, I, I mean, it's cool. You don't like exploring the world? I do, but I go. I mean, I'm, I'm I like being at the pad, dog. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes at the pad, turning on the AC on blast, smoking a joint. If I didn't have to get up at four in the morning every day, three in the morning, I'm sorry. I would. That's what I want to do. Just fucking chill. Yeah, chill. You know. Don't have to answer to no one. You wake up at three? Yeah. Uh, for the warehouse? For the, yeah, the warehouse job. How's that? It's fun. I'm sad right now because the homie got fucking fired. The black fool? Yeah, because he was a no call, no show. Oh, you already know who I'm talking about? Derek, Derek, Derek. But he's he'll be fine. He's, he's just got to find a new job. But yeah, he's a fucking... He was a funny guy. You, you miss your... Uh, I miss my boy. Your Everybody's husband. fucking... You miss your work husband? Damn, why do you, uh, you're the second person to say that. Uh, we're not work husband, he's just my work homie. But yeah, we're always fucking talking shit on the other people that are pricks. But uh, no, it's it's fun, right? It's because this week was employee appreciation week. So they appreciated him by letting him go? They appreciated him by sending him the fuck on his way. And they did it before they served the fucking hot, hot dogs and burgers. So they told him like, yeah, that's it. Like, get the fuck out. Like, didn't even. Let him, yeah, didn't even let me get a fucking hot dog and hamburger on his way out. But um, I work for Whole Foods, by the way. But I was gonna bring you guys some apples or bananas, but I forgot. Who I would just be damaging the like the the, the produce there. Like, what do you get? Like, I would literally be walking around with a pocket knife and just stabbing all the liquids. You're that kid that would slap the fucking packets of meat and like poke it. Yeah, for put sure. Your, put your hand in the rice. Oh, you don't know beans. about me punching the bread? Yeah, I saw uh, fucking Bart putting some shit about that. It's been you a just while. Since help it, yourself. It's been a while since I punched some bread too, bro. Like I feel like it's overdue. I kind of want to go back for some bread and punch it. Just ran. Just do it, man. You should just buy a bunch of bread. And just I don't know. It's not My homie's making about. bread right now. He's fucking so good. Well, because he's a chef, but he made a little loaf and he's selling bread. Yeah. I think you'd be good at that, Ethan. What? Like making bread. You should do an episode where you guys cook. I I don't I don't like making the bread. I just like destroying it. Uh, I don't know. I think you should get into cooking, like the hind hungry making bread, like loaf of breads. What's his name? Sean Papa or John Papa or Sean Papa? Was that uh that comedian? Tom Papa. Tom Papa. He makes bread, and I heard that's just delicious. Like I make bet. sourdough bread. A lot of people during the pandemic learned that shit. White people. Yeah. Tom Papa. <clears throat> I mean, I bet that shit must taste good, though. Like, fucking, um, you make that your own sourdough, and then you make yourself a bomb-ass sandwich. Yeah, and you got to eat I'd that shit. i fuck up a bomb-ass yeah. sandwich. And you right got to eat that shit fast, because it's actually, like, organic, so it can go bad pretty quick, unlike the bread that sits that. It's not supposed to sit that long, dog. Bread's not supposed to sit that long. Like, you go to, like, Italy and shit, and their bakeries are, like, they made that bread yesterday. I mean, I a lot of bakeries have to get rid of it by law. Oh, yeah? Like, if I was homeless, dog, I'd be eating for free all the time. Well, they do. How do you think they survive, dog? These fools don't pay I don't for think shit. they eat. They have to eat, bro. They're human. Even at least once a meal a day. Yeah, but they like they probably eat like, well, I ate some Doritos. 
You know what I mean? Like, I don't see like a homeless person trying to look for a nutritional meal. So you're saying we solve this uh, homeless problem by poisoning the food that we give to them and maybe make them go to sleep and then relocate them to another area. Like how I they're said, doing with the hippos in Colombia? Yeah. Yeah. Like how they're trying to relocate Pablo's hippos. You got to drug them the fuck out. They're still alive? Yeah, they reproduce. Is his zoo still alive? Like The hippos took over a, a lake. They're fucking the whole environment out there. They be, yeah, they became the main. There's no, there's nothing to kill them, so they're destroying all the predators. They became it's like what's happening in, in Florida with the anacondas. They're they're eating everything. They're, they're it's an invasive species. They're not anacondas. They're like boa pythons. That yeah, these ones right. And once those things started fucking, bro, you Florida is like the perfect place for these things to fucking breed. So it's just like you're not gonna find it. You're not gonna you're not gonna find a solution. You have to literally fucking like hope that a fire Maui's the fuck out of Florida to get rid of all those fucking snakes. Soon. And even then they're going to survive and repopulate. You're yeah. not going to kill every single every single boa constrictor that they put out there. They're impossible. Have you seen the guy on Rogan's that goes and goes and literally goes and captures them? He's crazy. Pe no. People are crazy, dog. What does Florida he do? people are wild. He goes into Florida barehanded and grabs them and then puts them into fucking bags to maybe help with the problem it's an idiot they're, they're supposed to kill him yeah they do kill him yeah they're supposed to kill him like you're literally supposed to kill him because it's an invasive species before they used to be be allowed to kill crocodiles but now the pythons are eating the crocodiles that it's just like what the fuck can you do the python took over as an invasive species i would just i don't know man like florida's gonna if go you to had to kill if you had to kill Bow constrictor, like a big ass bow constrictor, or an alligator. Bare hand, which one do you think you have a better chance at killing? The bow constrictor. No, we've held bow constrictors. I can get around the alligator and maybe get uh like get on top of it and maybe try to hop it. Like, nah, you, no. can, you have Hell a no. you got a better chance of killing the bow constrictor. No. If dude. you get the head and then let's just say you fucking get like No, there's no weapons. It's you, fool. Okay, yeah, but like rocks, like rock. There's, but there's yeah, no, even with yeah. the rock, I'm still gonna fucking say the boa constrictor's wrapped around my arm, and its head is over here. Bam. No, we we've seen it. He's on. There's been a snake around you. That was a pretty big snake, though. That that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a snake as big as uh, that can take an alligator. Are you are you rather maybe you can, face maybe the maybe alligator you can, or you face the snake? You can definitely bite the fucking snake. You can't bite the alligator. Biting a snake? I mean, it's your, desperate, your survival. Your survival instinct is going to kick in, like in Yellowstone. Ray, can you help me out with this? A bow constrictor, big bow constrictor, like the one that can take out an alligator or an alligator. Which one do you think you have a better chance of killing, of surviving? Boa. Yeah? Yeah. You know the alligators do that fucking death roll. Oh, I know. So they just got to bite a little bit of your hand and just start spinning. Your hand's gone, homie. Yeah. Say goodbye to your fucking left-handed fucking... No more jerking off, no more jerking off with your left. It's just fucking uh, righties for the rest of your life. Righties? That's the worst. Gay. Gay. You want to live in that world? I don't want to live in that world. Total gay. Yeah, dude. Jerking off with the opposite hand. Super gay. Yeah. You might as well just write faggot on you. <laughs> By the way, the phone lines are open if anybody wants to call up and talk some shit with us. Just check in. I know there was a couple of you guys that were trying to call up. Make sure you guys call up if you guys want to. Ask about the face painting. <laughs> <laughs> call in specifically for that. Hey, what happened? At, uh, how, how did it go for the at, um, at that event? You, you got hired by the people at that video game shop, right? Yeah, at the video game shop that you know, uh, Leslie from Throwback Games. It was, it was cool. Fucking, they had a... The guy that was the model for Sub Zero for Mortal Kombat Three, yeah, and Scorpion and other characters. He was uh, Shang Tsung also. He was there signing autographs. Got to talk to him, chit chat for a little bit. Tell him he was talking about the the writer strike. But um, no, it was a fucking cool ass event. That place reminds me of uh, Frank and Son. Yeah. Yeah, in uh, Oceanside, at the mall in Oceanside. It was really cool. Shout out Throwback. Oh, they have a good vibe. Yeah, they did that. They got a good vibe. It's fun. It looks like it's fun. Yeah, they had a... Uh... You've been to the righty zone? No. No? I want to. I'm probably going to go for, like, the Steftone concert because they have a Steftone, co uh, Steftone concert coming up soon. So I might just make a trip out of it and just go because I guess there's a couple video games I just want to go trade in so I can get some Pokemon cards. 
You'll find it right there. They have a huge selection. They're like, uh, they have two locations, but in the mall, it's like, just like um, fucking uh, Frankenstein's. Exactly like the layout. You fucking just get lost in there. And they had like autograph signings. It was really cool. <clears throat> nice. Ooh, 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 who is baby. it? Knock, knock. Who's there? Thank you for calling. Them. We don't smoke the same podcast. Who's this? Uh, this is Mike from uh, Washington State. What up, Mike from Washington State? You sound like you're RSO'd out. What's going on with you? Oh, just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Calling up. What's up with the face pain, man? What do you think about it? Oh, it's good. It's good. Do you want to get your face painted? <laughs> oh, no. I'm, I'm a ways away, but uh, <laughs> you just said uh, somebody called about yeah, the face painting. Yeah, so but, if you, could, but if you could get a face painting, what would you get it as? The people want oh, to know. Oh, shit. Come on. These are the tough questions that people want to know. What are we talking here? <laughs> you want a snake? <laughs> you want a snake? You want a unicorn face? What do you want? You want that a skull? You want that Batman? You want that? You're, you're more of a Spider-Man oh, yeah, type guy. Yeah, no, no, this is Batman, you know? Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, the skull would be cool, man. That's where I go. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, you're a ways away, but uh, if you start making your way over here, we'll wait outside the studio so you can get your face painted. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Sit there. I'll hit you up if I make it there. There we go. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. So what's going on with you, dog? What do you, what, what, what do, you do out there? Uh, actually, I like floor. I'm a uh, flooring installer. Oh, nice. See, Xavier, he, what is it? People out here are working harder than you. Well, that's a hard job. I used to install tile. So I had to cut I cut the tile until 45, and I always fuck it up. I always cut it the other way around for it, and you fuck up tile. Now we got to go back to Home Depot and get a whole new... Well, yeah, trust me, I've been there. Shout out to you, my boy. And you got to wear knee pads. It's not because, dude, it, this shit hurts. Uh, Dog, yeah. You got to wear knee pads. You feel like oh, a whore. Yeah. When you put them on, the first time I put them on, I looked at my dad. I was like, I'm not sucking no dick. And Xavier like, still wears them. <laughs> Fuck you. I still I got them. San Francisco sneakers on. <laughs> San Francisco sneakers. That's funny. But, but yeah, dude. Nah, shout out to you, my boy. That's right on, guys. Good. Hell yeah, man. All right, guys. All right. I love the show. I just want to say hi. Bye, call in. Uh, Pre appreciate up, you, dog. Thank you for calling from Washington. Shout out to you, and uh, thank you for watching. Bro. Hell yeah! Oh, well, heck yeah! Yo, uh, uh, Hancholo, have you ever done uh, like a body suit? Because I've I've seen like girls like naked with a dope makeup. All like it's a lot of work though. It's like an all day process. Have That's you... my dream one day to get called to do uh, some body paintings for some models. It's my Ooh. dream. I'm waiting for and that call. And, and your wife can't tell you no because that's business. You know, that's, exactly. that's puts money on the table. And I'm a professional. Yeah, exactly. You're going to go in there with I'm me. a professional. This is nothing to do with fucking... You're not going to raw dog her? Exactly. Oh, yeah, because, tell them. Uh, exactly. Can, can, you, can you let these people know you're looking for that type of work right here and that your wife doesn't care? Guys, if I can get serious with you for just a second. No, yeah, like, no, there's a time when you got to you want to get more business and, like, what if one day... I get the call from a fucking, say, the fucking local strip joint. Yeah. We're like, hey, we saw fucking your makeup on the We Don't Smoke the Same podcast. We watch it on the regular. Damn. So you want to you, you body paint Samantha that works at the strip club as How like a you, tiger or something? You know her? I can get you, Samantha. You know right. Samantha. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> Samantha. <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That would be cool, but right now, uh, my wife, she actually lets me... She's a really good sport, and she lets me paint on her back. Oh, that's dope. Okay. Remember the flyer for yeah, the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I low-key was wondering who that was. I told these, and I was like, what? Cholo, Han Cholo's got it like that? Nah, nah. Han Cholo's got it like, like that? that. That's my lady. That's my lady. <laughs> that's what's up. Um, Shout out to her. I'm going to try to do some more stuff like that in the future, and obviously, like... You know, it's like when she's in a good mood or when she's willing to help me out because she's uh, sometimes they take me two hours because yeah. it's like I got to have her fucking stay still. Yeah. You know, and have like, you seen you've obviously seen the show. Uh, I don't know if it's on Netflix or maybe one of those like VH1, the body painting um, artist. Which one, though? Because there's a few. I don't know. I've there's seen that, one of them uh, on sci-fi. It was on sci-fi. No, 100% was on sci-fi. Is it the one that the couples go on the date and they don't know what they look like and they have all this makeup? No, the the they're trying to win a prize, like like the tattoo one. Is it Paint Wars? Or paint Wars skin or something. Wars? Like, or skin Wars, and they get they get these 
body yeah and they do them all fast right and they look like they'll turn they'll, they'll turn like like a couple into like an alligator yeah well and it's all body paint um, and it's just crazy you i've done like half bodies and like painting arms and like a little bit of stuff like on, on chest men and women but yeah it, it would be uh have you seen cool those to, i gotta to show you jobs like that. no i have seen those it's crazy how like they get down on my like, bro with this like I'm... have you seen that there's people that have meals off other people's bodies oh like the sushi yeah like they have body sushi and shit like that imagine uh having body sushi off of tommy Ew. oh that's nasty Ew. i wouldn't even do it if you just showered off of jessica alba though i don't care it could be there for five hours i'll eat that shit even with the most guys yeah dude the most of us came out at that point if it's on kim kardashian's body i'm eating it that bitch is she's still standing still waiting for me. She's still standing still waiting for me to eat it. I'm gonna eat it. Thank That's you for coming to the podcast. Who's this? I'm, I'm for real. I'm eating this shit. Huh? Oh. Pussy. That yeah, we couldn't handle fucking Couldn't handle the fucking Tiger Man and the fucking Coco. Stoner Coco. You know how I was making these RSO pills? Like they didn't know how Did you just eat another one? Stop taking those. No, 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 I'm not. I didn't eat another one. But you know how? I, I wonder what happens if you were to put coke into one of these. Damn, let's find out. And swallow it? Yeah. On the next episode of We Don't Smoke you the could Same die, Podcast, fool. we become well, scientists. pastilla is not going to hit you like a microdose? I don't know. I don't know how much you need to die, but I don't know if you know, like, when people transport drugs and the bolsita fucking pops open, you die pretty much on site. If that shit lands in your cest and your test it i think you could die look it up let me see pretty sure you could die because i mean you can't scooby snack but that's crack no you think you die let me see i'm gonna look it up can you swallow a gram of cocaine how many grams of cocaine will it take to get to the center thank you for calling the we don't smoke the same podcast who's this get my soul is cali green eyes what's up dude what up cali green eyes what's cracking with you dog Fucking heading heading back from LA. Well, heading back uh, from Phoenix. I'm heading to LA, going home. What are they, dog? And what are you gonna? I'm just listening to the show. That's right, dog. Um, and where where you headed to? Uh, I'm, go I'm going to uh, Cut High. Damn. I just made a delivery for uh, to tires uh, in Phoenix. That's so right. I'm heading back. That's right, yeah. dog. Staying busy, and dog. I'm, yeah, I'm always, uh, since I'm always on the, on the, you know, on the road, so I listen to you guys, be real and the, uh, the rest of the, you know, other podcasts. Thank you, bro. I appreciate you always listening to us, man. I mean, I'm glad we keep you company on the, on the road. I know that especially if you're driving and you're doing deliveries, you know, that shit definitely could be tedious, bro. Like me, I'm one of those people that I fall asleep on the road a lot, bro. Like if I'm tired, I, I'd rather just yeah. not drive. Yeah, exactly. dude, that shit sucks, dude. It's literally worse than drunk driving. Yeah, it literally is worse than drunk driving. When you're tired and you're trying so, to make it, yeah, it's I, literally the worst. Not if you actually get in a car accident, though. What do you mean? Yeah, so yeah, a car accident. And the worst part, yeah, blow drunk. You don't go to jail. You might even get a case. Oh, that's true. Compared to you just you regular crashing. Yeah, if you just go to sleep, you can just be like, "Yo, I was tired." And they're just gonna look at you like you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> Xavier, that's, stupid ass. No, that's a tired. real excuse. That happens to people. Hundred percent. People that work twelve hours gotta go home and they they fall asleep. They run <laughs> Can into you something. Imagine Xavier. That shit happens to Xavier. Is like I'm sorry, I'm tired from work. They're like, where were you working at? The Thursday, two hours before. What up? What's up? I was fucking tired from smoking. Nah, but yeah, dude. Oh, <laughs> you wanna hear something crazy? Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Forgot. So, so what else is going on with you, dog? Uh, depending on what time I, I get off, you know, probably just get some eat, just get some food, and just go to sleep, and and see if there's work tomorrow. It's already past my fucking. I'm, it's past my DLT hours, by the way. But I, what's that mean? But I don't know. Delirium. See if there's work oh. tomorrow. For now, I'll just rest. That's right, dog. Well, I mean, shit. Ojalá that you still. I, I hope that you still keep getting trabajo, dog. That way you can stay getting the fucking billetes. Yeah. And um, thank you for always listening to us, dog. And definitely smoke one with us. You know. Yeah, what I mean? no worries. Get yourself one of those shit, I wish I and could. It, you know. I know, dude. I wish I wish I could, but I just afraid. You know, doing randoms and shit. Yeah. I really yeah, want to yeah. try the RSO thing, but you know, what I mean, this sucks, dude. 
it's cool. Like I need it so I can go to sleep, you know, after work. Yeah. But you know, it's just guilty, you know, violation. So it's a risk. Yeah, I feel you. You don't want to risk your pellejo for some, uh, you know, for a little quick, for a quick hire. Yeah. But hey, salute yeah, to like you for that. Yeah, like my dad said, your license is your my. Hey, yeah. Well, thanks. Appreciate it. But you know, I've been, you know, say this mother also, but you know, just risk it once in a while. That's right. But I'll be dog. clean though. Gracias, dog. Appreciate yeah. you, my homie. Appreciate hey, you no. calling, dog. Hey, hey. What's up, player? Yeah, no worries, XD. Uh, hopefully, um, hopefully I stop by uh, for your event on the 14th. Oh, that's seasonal. Oh. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Pull up, dog. Of course. Yeah, pull up. Yeah, make sure you can pull yeah, up. Yeah, so I'm going to... Yeah, so I want to try that, that uh, Correa's Marisco that you guys were talking about. So hopefully I'm able to stop by, get you know, get some grubs, meet, hang out with you guys, and see, you know, enjoy the show. Yeah, stop. Pull up, dog. We'll be there. Yeah, they will have a they will have a booth. Right. So make sure you uh definitely you definitely oh, yeah. pull up. Um all right. All right, for sure then. All right, guys. Have a all right, damn. Sorry about that. Thank you, my boy. Thank you, man. All right, y'all. We want to thank you everybody for tuning in. Appreciate everybody for tuning in. Thank you, Honcholos, for the face painting. As always, where can they follow you at, bro? You can follow me on Instagram at Honcholo underscore arte. That's Honcholo with the next. Just check the video so you can see my instagram and if you need help with your face paint hit me up <laughs> sooner than later and i'll hook you up it is october so if you got kids you can think about some hit them up sooner yeah. than later like you said you want a quote for your kids party the quinceanera the bautizo whatever whatever dm me and i'll give you a quote ya está hit him up ray shout out to han cholo thanks for coming through shout out to the people who tuned in Check out my website, morningshotfilms.co, where I got the High and Hungry Pizza t-shirts. Check out my review of The Morning Real Old by M. Night Shyamalan. I gave it three and a half, sorry, I gave it three out of four tokes. Next week, I love you, man. Ooh, it's dropping. Xavier. It's dropping. It was a fun one to record with you, Ray. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe. Uh, enjoy your guys' Saturday. Uh, cause we are... But uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for all the Patreon subscribers. Thank you for Han Cholo for showing up and painting us and letting us know you raw dogging your wife now. That's That was great to know. But hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you guys on Wednesday. Yeah, uh, flavorsbyezone.com is the website. Highhungry.shop. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Where can they get the uh, You can go get it at Green Angel in the Valley. Okay, so we'll see. We'll see you guys. Uh, yeah, Wednesday.